All right, we're live. We're live. Welcome, everyone, to uh, Rumble Weekend. Oh, no, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing and started dragging around Rumble on the layout. Let me control Z that. All right, I'm uh, still getting situated here to read the chat and stuff. Wearing my Absol Pokemon shirt that I just got today, which is pretty sick. Welcome, everyone. What's up? Jay Swag Pizza, Jonathan Sura, Jack4690, Jack4690, how to repeat it twice. Brian, Cinebox, Zach Pro Moore, Jay, Jay again, <laughs> sorry, Dondre, what's up everyone? Yeah, welcome to the Rumble Weekend stream today, and uh, we're about to try and find some shinies. I've done this um, kickoff stream here, where I go for like uh, a shiny on stream, and I've only not found a shiny once. So I think we have a pretty good chance of getting a shiny tonight. So uh, let's make it happen. Gonna go to the GX terminal where you find the second and third gen Pokemon in the mod. And uh, let's do this. Welcome everyone. Jeez, this chat is moving so fast. It might take me a second to catch up with chat and stuff. I might miss some messages and stuff because I gotta focus on the sheer number of Pokemon I see on screen every time. But between floors, I'll do my best to read the chat and chat it up with y'all. Because otherwise I'd just be sitting here playing Rumble in silence. And I don't think anyone wants to watch that. And thank you, Siraj. Yeah, like, this is just what happens when I don't get a haircut for, like, a year. One of these days, I'm going to get a haircut, but, uh, <laughs> just hasn't happened yet. And, yeah, how do you get Rumble these days? This game is in a really, really weird spot. Um, it was a WiiWare-only game, so it never had a physical release. It's a download-only game. And the Wii Shop channel shut down permanently in 2019. So this game is no longer available for purchase in any way whatsoever. So your only options to play Rumble are to emulate it or to uh, em install it as homebrew on your Wii. And by the way, I'm just going to clear this up from the beginning in case some of y'all aren't familiar with Rumble. If you notice that Shroomish right there is sparkling, that doesn't mean it's a shiny Shroomish necessarily. It's only a shiny if it's also a different color. Sparkling just means when I defeat it, it's a guaranteed recruit. It'll topple over and we get to keep it. So, you might see a bunch of those throughout the night. Don't freak out if I walk past one of them. Because, uh... I, I tend to be pretty good about not passing up shinies in this game. But yeah, welcome everyone. Hope you all are having a good day. I, I had a pretty good one. I've been looking forward to this literally all day. Doing some rumble. Um, it's been a minute since I've played some rumble. It's been a while. Like, we started back, like, in uh, November. That was the last time we did a rumble weekend. Haven't really touched the game much since then, aside to make that most recent video that I did. So, I have been itching to do this for a while now. Dallas, what's up, dude? I'm not sure what that means, Jonathan. I don't want to say anything that I don't really know, especially for the sake of the stream like that. Like, I don't want to be, like, caught slipping and say anything that would be inappropriate or offensive. So, I don't know what that phase that you're, phrase you're typing is, so I don't want to say that. You've already found 10, Han? That's crazy. That is some insane luck. I saw someone earlier. I think Martha said that, that she's found like 27, which is absolutely insane. Um, I think like she's the one who does all the multiplayer stuff with multiple Pokemon at once, so that kind of checks out. But still a crazy number to have first day already. I think what I'm going to do right now is what I do every single Rumble Weekend stream and just kind of uh, roam around, go to every single level, and we'll see what happens. So, um, yeah, let's let's cruise around until we get a shiny here. I got this super, super speedy speed Deoxys to get us through these levels really fast. <laughs> Noted, Dallas. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching out for me. How is the fortress? The fortress are still not fixed yet, by the way. I haven't released a patch since November. So the fortress still are bugged and sh as shinies. So if you're playing the weekend edition, you got to watch out for those fortress because the shinies look almost no different from a regular fortress. Yeah, I do got my gamer glasses on so I can uh, see the game, see the shinies for extended periods of time because I'm going to be doing this, this rumbling for hours upon hours tonight. That is the plan. What's up, Wolf King? How's it going tonight? King of Wolves. Oh, Games and Glasses. What's up? Good luck on the Spinda. That's always a cool one to go for because you get a unique one every time. The Shiny Odds and Rumble. That's something that in all my time of going through the game, I still haven't been able to figure out. But I'm assuming they're 1 in 8192. 
that that's the current assumption maybe one of these days we'll get it all figured out and we'll know for sure but at the moment i don't know and hey there's a fiona and yeah welcome everyone i don't really uh stream too often here like youtube streaming the only thing i ever do here are these rumble weekend kickoff streams so welcome everyone if you say it's like your first time catching me live i'm not too surprised welcome hope you're having a good night and good luck on your hunts if you're hunting something right now it tends to be a pretty good thing to be doing while watching one of these shiny hunting streams if i say so myself any recommendations for hunts in other games there's so many good shiny hunts out there it, it's crazy actually heart gold soul silver starters that's always a classic good one to go for i don't know what would be a good one in the spirit of rumble weekend though like maybe let's go comes kind of close because you're looking at all the pokemon in the overworld at once let's go is almost like rumble and, and Jonathan, chill out. <laughs> I'm still not going to say it right now. I, I, even if it's just a random song that sound that a dog makes. Appreciate that. Will I stream on Twitch the other days? Yeah. Um, I'm going to stream on Twitch on Sunday. Probably during the day at some point. But uh, tomorrow, not, tomorrow I'm not going to stream at all, I think. Usually for Rumble Weekend, I just do these kickoff streams. And anything after that isn't guaranteed. But there will be a compilation for sure at the end of this. Yeah, it, it's crazy when every time I stream on YouTube, it's like almost overwhelming seeing how fast the chat goes and stuff. It's hard to keep up. And welcome Endless Overtime, by the way. My TV's doing this weird thing right now where like it, it, the screen is going black every now and then. So I occasionally have to look down at my like computer to see what's going on in game. I think there might be something wrong with my HDMI. I might need to adjust that in a minute if it keeps up. Best game to badge quest. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I really enjoy doing Ultra Sun a lot. That's a pretty unpopular game to badge quest in, I know. But uh, there's so many unique, interesting hunts in that game. Like the Ash Cap Pikachu. Um, Poke Pelago is something crazy that I didn't do. There's Island Scan. There's so many interesting hunts in like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that I think it can make for a very fun badge or trial quest. Aside from that... Uh, Ruby and Sapphire is pretty good, too. Probably my least favorite game to badge quest that I've never even tried before would be Fire Red Leaf Green, because so many times you just end up getting Spearow. Spearow plagues those games. Like, it, it's insane how many Spearow there are out there. Ooh, good luck on the Sizzlepeed in the gym. That's an awesome hunt. Professor Rex, how's it going, dude? How are you and Tops doing today? Have y'all, uh... I, I saw a picture of all your wave birds that you have set up, so I'm sure y'all are doing some crazy kind of mad laddery right now hunting in this game what's my favorite shiny um i don't know for some reason the pokemon absol is my favorite shiny i don't know why might be like my favorite pokemon ever but uh that's also my favorite shiny yeah you're guaranteed to catch a pokemon in rumble if you find a shiny so um all shiny Pokemon in this game are also sparkling Pokemon, which means they're a guaranteed capture when you knock them out, which is nice. It would be kind of scary if they weren't guaranteed. It would it would be interesting, though. I, I honestly wouldn't mind if it wasn't guaranteed. It would make finding something like uh, super, super rare so suspenseful. Oh, there's an Entei. I already did do a full Ultra Sun trial quest, though. I saw someone say Ultra, Ultra Sun badge quest confirmed, but I did a whole series on that a couple years ago. We're using the file name Umbrella, which is why people call me Umbrella sometimes. It's so easy to miss Shiny Blaziken. The Blaziken almost looks no different in this game. It's crazy. It's caught me off guard every single time I found one. And I found quite a few now. And Patty Murphy! It's your boy Patty! Regular Twitch viewer with the super chat. Appreciate that. Have fun with the Gen 3 games. That's awesome. Sorry to hear about the DS Lite, though. I hope it's just a, an issue with the console and not an issue with the games, you know? What was my reaction to Mega Absol when I first found out about it? It was a pretty interesting reaction for me because it, it was on my birthday. August 8th, 2013 was the day that uh, Mega Absol was revealed for X and Y. And I actually think I was streaming while I was doing that. It's super deep down the channel. But uh, I was playing through Mount Battle and Pokemon XD with Octillery and Butterfree. And um, I was just streaming that on YouTube. 
and someone told me about the Mega Absol thing, and that was it was so crazy to me that they just happened to reveal the Mega of my favorite Pokemon on my birthday. How many shinies do I have in Rumble? A lot. Just a ton. Worst shiny Pokemon. That's a very tough one to decide a lot of the time, because most people, when they when they think of what the worst shiny Pokemon is, they tend to go towards like the subtle ones, like Garchomp, the ones that hardly change at all. But I think that th there are some good subtle ones out there. I don't think a subtle shiny is necessarily a bad thing, because it gives the idea of a shiny Pokemon a little bit more flavor. Like, we need the dugongs, we need the things that barely change, the things that shock you by seeing that they're actually shiny when you encounter them without you expecting them to be, in order to, like, add more spice to it. So, I, I don't know what it is. And thanks for the super late 2013 birthday, Endless Overtime, I really appreciate that. What happened to my hair? I didn't cut it for a year, that's what happened. <laughs> like, uh, you know, the whole pandemic thing started, and I just haven't bothered to get a haircut. One of these days I will, once my hair becomes very bothersome, but at the moment I'm just kind of rolling with it. I'm kind of enjoying it, honestly, because I've never had long hair before. I've always, like, just cut it when it reached a certain length, just because that's all I ever knew to do. And Professor Rex with the super chat. Appreciate that. Rumble. Rumble indeed. How many of y'all are playing Rumble right now? I gotta know. And also, how many of y'all are playing Rumble... For the very first time. Because uh, that's always an exciting thing about every single Rumble weekend. The people who persevere find a way to find the game. Even though you can't find it anymore. Like on the shop channel. And play Rumble. It's great every single Rumble weekend. I've ever tried to get a shiny living dex. It's, it's not something that I've ever seen as a personal goal of mine. And the reason why is that... Um, I tend to like to hunt repeat shinies a lot. Like, I've already hunted Absol in multiple generations now, and I want to hunt it in every generation that it's available in. And I want to prioritize that over, like, going for every single Pokemon. Like, I'd rather go for a fourth Absol than a Fero any day. So, a shiny living dex isn't something that's just on the list for me. Maybe it's, like, an eventual life goal as something that I just look at as, like, something that I want to achieve in my lifetime, maybe. But it's not, like, my main goal by any means. Give us a hair flip. I I tried. <laughs> I, I don't tend... I haven't done, like, a hair flip before, so I don't know what to do for it. Especially while I'm not really looking at myself, while I'm looking at Pokemon Rumble. Yeah, this is a mod of the game. It's called uh, Rumble Weekend Edition. And uh, when Lockdown and stuff started up last year, this was a little passion project that I put out where I added back all the Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon to this game. I just recently released a video about this, too. My most recent video before this is a video all about the process of, um, like, going and modding this game, finding out what was unused and stuff. I, I think I, I'm pretty proud of that video, honestly. I thought it was a really fun video to make. So check it out if you're interested. And another super chat from Rex. The power is out. You played board game. No sun snow, though. Oh, unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I know there are some crazy snowstorms and stuff going on. I hope you get the power back soon in time for Rumble Weekend. You had all those wave birds prepared and everything. Congrats on the Stantler, Michael. That's awesome. I hope I, I pronounce that right. I hope that's Michael. Or not Mikhail. Mikhail. You kill every single shiny in this game in order to uh, capture them. It's a very good feeling. Double Latios. Hello. What's my least favorite Pokemon? I don't really have one. Over all these years, I, I've considered that question many, many times, and I've never been able to reach a good definitive answer. One Pokemon that I'm not a huge fan of, um, at least fighting against competitively, is uh, Ferrothorn, or I guess it's actually pronounced Ferrothorn, but I, I still can't get over that pronunciation. Um, I've never enjoyed fighting against that thing, but I like its design enough to not say that it's my least favorite Pokemon. It's just so annoying to go up against if you don't have, like, a fire type ready. Suicune. What's up, Megatron Jenkins? How's it going? Recognizing some of y'all's YouTube names from uh, Twitch, the Twitch regulars. Lately on Twitch, I've been streaming a lot of my hunt for Shiny Shadow Bayleaf and Coliseum. My account over there is Absaltastic, if y'all are interested in that. 
Glad to see you, Gretchen. Glad to see so many of y'all right now. And again, I'm sorry I haven't been able to keep up with the chat super well so far today. I'll get into the groove of things soon. And uh, get a little bit better about reading it. I reject that pronunciation too, Christine. I refuse to believe it's actually Ferrothorn. It's always been Ferrothorn for me. Same goes for Ferroseed. Ferroseed. Ferrothorn. Ferroseed and Ferrothorn. That's just unnatural. So weird. What's up, what's up, Watchy Snoo? How's it going today? Trying to go for our first shiny of the weekend. DC, how's it going? What are the shiny chances in this game? Most likely 1 in 81, 92. That's something I haven't yet figured out. There's a lot of Yas. We've been seeing a lot of these uh, legendaries. They spawn pretty rarely in these levels. Still no Bayleaf yet. I hit like 7,500 resets for that thing last night. It's been a hunt that I've been strictly doing on stream, though, so I've been doing it at a very, very slow pace. So I'm not too surprised I haven't found it yet. I haven't even hit the odds for it. It's just a very slow, gradual hunt I've been doing whenever I felt like streaming. Oh, what's up, Camden? Appreciate that. Thank you. I didn't know they had those actual pronunciations either until very recently. I think I was watching, like, an official VGC stream or something, and I was taken aback whenever I heard that, and I was like, they've got to be pronouncing that wrong. And then I found out that's the actual pronunciation for it. Smuggle Fluff, how's it going? Please don't spam, but welcome. Yeah, ferris con means containing iron. That's true. From, you know, Latin, ferrum. I think Pokin Tournament also has, like, the word ferrum in there a lot as well. Can I add Pokemon to the layout, like on Twitch? Not for Rumble Weekend. For Rumble Weekend, we add the shinies that I find to the layout. And I think adding any other Pokemon to the layout during the stream would just be confusing. I also kind of use it in editing when I'm making the Rumble Weekend compilation at the end of the weekend. It helps me keep track of the shinies that I, like, I've like. i put in the compilation so far. Kuma Pizza, how's it going? Welcome. I am going to participate in Uncatchable Week. I don't know what exactly I'm going to hunt for it yet. Uh, in case y'all don't know, Shiny Collector, LJ, he's putting on a, an event called Uncatchable Week at the end of March. And uh, I think I'm going to do some Battle Revolution hunting in it. I've been doing a lot of hunting for the costume, and you find a lot of Uncatchables in the process of that. So I might just continue that hunt. But also I've considered going for Juniper's Cinchino in Black 2 and White 2. When you start up the game uh, for the very first time, and she sends out a Cinchino, that thing can be shiny. And there were rumors for the longest time on the internet that it was shiny locked, unlike the Minchino in black and white. But I really believe it's not. So I want to go for it to see, see it for myself. What Pokemon should you hunt in X and Y? Uh, you should go for maybe... Uh, how about like uh, Trevenant? That's always a really cool one. If you don't already have that. That's right, it's the Ferrum region in, in Pokin. That game has an amazing soundtrack. I'd be maybe listening to some of that music right now, but I don't want it, like, also in the video when I eventually make the compilation if we find a shiny. So we're kind of just chatting in silence right now. The Weedle and Fire Red Leaf Green, that's a cool one too. There's so many interesting uncatchables out there. Things that can be shiny that you wouldn't expect to be. Like, um... The Ghost Marowak in Fire Red Leaf Green in the tower, that thing can actually be shiny. It, it doesn't show up shiny whenever it's a ghost, but when, you, when the Sylph Scope is used on it, it appears green. It doesn't even sparkle whenever you first see it in battle, which is also pretty cool. Yeah, almost 500 viewers. Absolutely insane. I'm not used to streaming to this many people all the time, but uh, I love it. <laughs> When's next Safari Week? Safari Week will be coming up in June. It's, it's around the time of June every year. And I will likely be making a poll on Twitter around the time that uh, it starts to get closer to that. And we'll decide on the exact week for it, depending on when the most people are available. I know there are always all sorts of things going on. Like uh, a bunch of people have like final exams during that time. Some people are starting summer vacation and stuff. So it's, it's best to just find a good time that works for the most people to be, to be hunting. So many people are typing, just killed a shiny felon, good. Chill. <laughs> Jonathan, I, I'm seeing your messages. <laughs> you don't have to type the same thing over and over again. 
Petition for Absol to play so much to do, so much to see on stream. Maybe next time I do a Bayleaf stream or something when I'm actually like playing music in the background, I'll pull up the good old so much to do, so much to see. And we could do an endurance round of it, where I keep it on loop until I can't take it anymore. So we could do maybe an entire stream of just so much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see, so much to do, so much to see, until I like absolutely just like can't handle it anymore. What's Uncatchable Week? It's a brand new shiny hunting event that uh, LJ, also known as Shiny Collector, also known as Shiny Collector 98, I've always had the 98 attached to his name whenever I think of LJ, um, is hosting March 27th, which is all dedicated to going to for uncatchable shinies. Like the interesting stuff, like the, the Poochiena that um, you can encounter while hunting for the starters in Ruby and Sapphire. Chosen Signer, how's it going tonight, Maya? How are you doing tonight? Oh no, I'm getting frozen by the Slow Kings. Wait, let's check out the Deli Bird's presence. I love how this move looks in this game. It's just like a straight up JPEG of a gift. It's so beautiful. And Kuma Pizza with the super chat. Appreciate that. $10. Good luck on the hunt. Oh, thank you so much. I, I just butchered that. Good luck on the hunt. Hope you have a good hunt. Thank you very much. Same to you if you're hunting something right now. We need all the shiny luck we can get. What's the best place to buy a 3DS in your opinion? A really good place that a lot of people tend to forget about. I don't know if they're in stock right now. But it's, it's the official Nintendo website. On, the, on Nintendo's store, on their website... Uh, you can buy refurbished 3DSs and Switches, and they're for much cheaper prices than re retail price, and it comes directly from Nintendo. I've got a couple consoles that way, and they're all in fantastic condition when they arrive. They're refurbished, but I can't even tell. They're, they're re it's really good, so that's a way to do it. Yeah, there is an equal chance to get a Shiny Starter or a Poochiena. It's a very interesting hunt. It's quite the 50-50, but the resets are so fast, it's incredible. You thought this was a normal video, so you didn't think it was live, Fuzzy? That's that's actually really funny. Actually, this is a pre-recorded video right now. I just knew you'd be here, Fuzzy. And I predicted that you would show up at that time and say that you thought that this was a normal video. So, uh, yeah, this is all just pre-recorded right now. We're going to find a shiny in a few minutes. No, that's all good, Kiwi. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Think no no pressure to donate or anything. I really just appreciate y'all being here at the end of the day. Thanks so much. Where do you find that on the website? I don't know what the exact URL is. I just search for Nintendo refurbished and it should pull up. I just Google it. I got yeah, I got the, I got a um, new 2DS XL, the white and orange one. That might be the pumpkin spice one you're referring to. I got it for like a hundred dollars. Incredible price for such a great little console. Soft modded it not too long ago and it's it's awesome. Of course you're handless overtime, yeah. You're always uh hanging around. I'm not sure which shiny I want right, most right now. I think I definitely want something new that I don't already have, but if I had a single target in mind, it would maybe be Absol and Eternal Tower, because I don't have one yet. And Dark Riolu 96 with the super chat. Appreciate that. Good luck. And what's your favorite generation? It's it's always been Gen 3 for me. Gen 3 is like my my nostalgia generation, my home region, everything. I, I love like the Pokemon and the games for Gen 3 the most, I think. To me, it's like the golden era of Pokemon. Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate that. You're playing Rumble Blast as your first Rumble. How does it compare? That's a good question, B-Rad, because I just played Rumble Blast for the first time last year. Because this was the only game in the Rumble series I had played before then, except for a little bit of Rumble World and Rumble Rush. And I really didn't like either of those. But Rumble Blast is legitimately sick. It's a great game. I think it might be objectively the best game in the series, but the only thing holding it back from being my favorite in the series is that it doesn't have shinies. And it doesn't have as much replay value, because the game is actually pretty long. Since it has all the Pokemon from Gen 1 through 5. If Rumble Blast had Shinies, I honestly don't know if I'd be hunting in the Wii version of the game right now. And Leonardo with the Super Chat, appreciate that, thank you very much. Really cool to see someone from Brazil here. It's, it's crazy, like, doing these streams and seeing people from all over the world watching. That's awesome, really appreciate the support, and hope you're having a good one. Thank you. 
Which starter from Gen 3? It's a tough one. My childhood pick was Torchic, and that was also the first one that I shiny hunted. But I also really like Trico on principle a whole lot, and I like Mudkip for the memes. So I like all three of them. But uh, I, I tend to go back to Torchic and Blaziken the most. Um, I will say, though, Trico really, really grew on me a lot after playing the second Mystery Dungeon game. Because, like, Grovile is the coolest character in that entire game. Maybe in the whole Mystery Dungeon series. And yeah, this stream is, will be fully archived. You can watch this entire thing, rest assured, right after it's over. If you really want to, or if you miss part of it. And Kuma Pizza with another freaking super chat. Thank you. Tax season hitting. Yeah, for real. Just went through all my tax stuff uh, last week. Always, always interesting when YouTube's also a factor in it nowadays. Crazy stuff. But, uh, oh, that's a shiny Makuhita! Talking about taxes! That Makuhita's from the IRS! And it's a, it, they're congratulating me for doing my taxes this year! Let's go, Makuhita! Shiny number one for Rumble Weekend. I didn't even finish reading Kuma's Super Chat. Where do I buy my Pokemon GBA from that aren't bootleg? So, eBay's where I go most of the time. eBay's a good spot for it. Um, because, uh... You get, like, pictures of the listings, so you know what you're buying. Like, you have to have a good eye for things. You have to make sure that they're authentic by looking at it. There are plenty of guides out there that tell you how to find an authentic GBA game. So you just gotta, like, find it and stuff. Yeah, and see, I, if I told y'all earlier, this stream is pre-recorded. I said a few minutes ago, we're gonna find a shiny in a few minutes. And we found that Makuhita. Do I need any further proof now? That This is purely pre-recorded. This is fake. I'm not even streaming right now. I knew that Toasty Man would say right at this moment, Yo, he's a mighty taxpayer. Makuhita the tax collector coming in clutch. Yeah, exactly. Can you mod Rumble Blast to get shinies? I would love to, but I have no idea how. It would be a massive undertaking. And also, we'd have to make the shiny textures for most of those Pokemon from scratch. So, it would be a huge, really, really long project. But if I see myself ever just, like, really wanting to do a crazy mod like that again, then maybe we'll go with Blast. But uh, right now, I gotta pull up the image of Makuhita to add to the layout, and then we're gonna do a dramatic head turn, as we always do. So, um, yeah, let's, let's get that Makuhita going. I just realized I wasn't recording, so I'm glad that this is being archived to YouTube so I can use it in the, the video. Let's see, let me find my Makuhita sprite. Hold on real quick, I gotta find this on my computer. Got a folder of all the shiny sprites that we're gonna use. We're gonna use the frame two shiny sprites from Platinum because you really don't see those poses too often. Some of them look really, really goofy mid-move. Yeah, look at this Makuhita. Look at this guy. Hands up in the air. We're gonna put him down on the layout here. Increment the counter. Oh, I don't even have the counter open, so... <laughs> this shows how prepared I was for this. Let me uh, add this right now. And now we're going to do a dramatic head turn. Shiny Makuhita, number one of Rumble Weekend. And Uber Cam with the super chat, too. I just saw that, too. Got a promotion at work this past week. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Makuhita the Tax Master. And Alejandro with a super chat too. Can someone please draw fan art of Makuhita the IRS agent? I would love to see that too. Maybe give him like a briefcase or something. I don't know what, how to feel about IRS fan art though. Crazy stuff. So, that was the very, very first one. On to the very next. Maybe we'll find multiple shinies this stream. I typically find at least like two during the kickoff stream. I tend to have pretty good luck with that. But we'll have to see what happens. I've droughted, I've definitely droughted for extended hours in this game. I've gone like six to eight hours without finding a shiny in Rumble before. I always hit some sort of dry spell during the weekend. I think 2DSs are worth it. Like, honestly, I don't see myself using the actual 3D feature of a 3DS too often, and the game experiences are the same. 2DSs are, are fine, for, for sure. Yeah, the hair flip does make it more dramatic. That is true. The Absol's there. I want one of them to be red so badly. Something kind of diabolical that I put into this mod is that the Misdravis no Perish song. So they'll like go away and it's really easy to fail shinies if you don't catch them in time. 
Have I played Pokemon Team Turbo? I've never even heard of that. What is that? Is that like a browser game or something? I have not played that. I'll find one in 4 minutes, 13 seconds. I'm not sure about that, some kid. This is a pre-recording, and I, I didn't see it happen. What controller am I using? So I'm using a Wii Remote with a uh, controller hooked up to it. It's like something that they made for like Smash back in the 3DS days. This is like a Samus colored orange controller. It's what I've been using for Rumble Weekend for like the past few years now. How many encounters an hour do I figure? That's a very good question. I've never really tried to tally that up. Because you see probably on average like at least 80 something Pokemon every single run. And you can get a lot of runs done in an hour. I might need to try and total that up at some point this weekend if I really feel like messing around with that. What system am I playing on? I'm playing on my Wii U. And uh, this is like, I, I did purchase Rumble on here back in like 2014 from the Wii Shop channel, but I'm playing a modded version of it right now. It's a really, really old racing game for the PC. I'll need to check that out. I've never even heard of that. Pokemon Team Turbo. I'll keep that in mind. I also haven't played Pokemon Dash before, so I'm very, very behind on Pokemon racing games. Yeah, Rumble Rayquaza does look like a caterpillar. Wait till y'all see Barboach. Barboach is an absolute unit in this game. Whenever we go to the beach, I hope we find one. It's it's beautiful looking. Rumble Barboach is a sight to behold. I'll just say that. I thought that Ariados was a shiny lady on for a second. Yeah, it's the weekend controller. Legitimately, this is all I use this controller for. It's the Rumble weekend controller. You can't buy a refurbished 3DS? Darn. So I guess there are sold out of those right now. They restock every now and then, though. I bought mine around the time of GoFest last year. So, uh, maybe sometime in the future they might have a whole, like, influx of them again. And I don't really have a target, uh, right now, Vinette. Whenever I do these Rumble weekends, I go for pretty much anything. So I just kind of run through the levels until something shines. But if there's something that I want most right now, it's Absol and Eternal Tower. Because I don't have one yet in this game, and it's my favorite Pokemon. Nice, Jacob Corn. You and I alike. <laughs> I had to go today to get a spicy potato soft taco since they um, had those in stock again. And someone in my chat last night was really worrying me whenever I was hunting Bayleaf. They said that they got rid of the Baja Blast Zero Sugar. And I was like, no, I love the Baja Blast Zero. It's just as good as the original. So I had to make, check and make sure they still had that. And they still did. Very thankful for that. So, uh, yeah, I'm Baja Blasting right now. And I'm going to be honest, it might not be the only time I Baja Blast this Rumble weekend. I do main Smash. I, I do main DDD in Smash. He's been my main since uh, the Smash 4 days. But before that, I mained Ness. I can't believe I downgraded that much on a character, you know? Going from a character that's like really good to a character that was like one of the worst in the game. But I just love playing DDD too much. And he's alright in Ultimate. He's not amazing, but he's also not horrible. Yeah, I did choose the boss Pokemon when I created this mod. In an ideal world, I want it to, 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 like, shuffle between different bosses in the stages, like it does in EX mode, but I haven't gotten that figured out yet. That's something I, I plan on doing in the future. And yeah, Jay Walker, we're Baja Blast in here. You think I have an unhealthy obsession with Baja Blast? It's pretty good for me so far, I'd say. Like, I, it's not, it hasn't been, like, life-ruining or anything. It's, it's been life-enhancing most of the time, wakes me up, you know? And I really don't have it as many times a week as I lead on. I have it made like maybe once, maybe twice occasionally. So, so, a Baja Blast is still like a special treat to me. Ice Climber main on Melee. Oh, nice. Wobbler. I always wanted to try to learn wobbling because I like, it's like playing a rhythm game. Waylord is huge. It'd be crazy if it was even bigger. Just a massive Waylord. I will play Pokemon Legends Arceus for sure. I'm really excited for uh, Pokemon Snap next month too. I I'm pumped for that game. Probably gonna make at least a video on it or maybe stream it a little bit. And Demon Faction with the sub- with not the sub, the <laughs> super chat. I'm so used to Twitch. How often do I do these events and where can we download the Rumble Weekend mod? Thank you. Um. 
So I do these events probably like three or four times a year. This is the first time I've doing, done it this year in 2021. And the Rumble Weekend Edition mod can be found on the Project Pokemon website. But what you got to do is you got to download the patch from there. It's not actually the full game when you download it because it's illegal to just download the entire game that way. You're going to have to find the Rumble original WAD or ROM somewhere online first before you uh, apply that patch. Then you apply that patch to it and then you can play Weekend Edition. And bro, side with the super chat too. Congrats on the shiny. Exploring DC right now. We can't wait to rumble. Sounds good, dude. You, you got some good rumbling done beforehand too. You found some shinies and stuff. Hope you have a good time, and uh, I hope you come back to more Rumble Shinies later this weekend. Thanks for stopping by, as always, dude. And grats, Goron John, and the Quilava. What is a Baja Blast? Baja Blast is a flavor of the uh, beverage Mountain Dew that's, like, kind of lime-flavored, and it was exclusive to, to Taco Bell for a while. And um, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. I, I'm a Mountain Dew Baja Blast enjoyer, you could say. What's my Twitch username? Absoltastic. So A B S O L T A S T I C. Oh, and things are a little choppy right now. Yeah. Might have a couple frame drops here and there. I think that might be internet because I'm trying to stream at 60 FPS right now. So uh, maybe my internet might not always be able to uh, handle that. But I'm getting a local recording as well, which hopefully won't have as many frame drops. So uh, bear with me if, if things get choppy looking. I apologize for that. Oh yeah, that's a classic, Layton. I think they they called they made a rule called the Mike Hayes rule for that because uh, he would scream at the ice climbers players to make them mess up their chain grabs and brawl, and they had to add a rule that you can't distract the other player like that. Baja Blast is an experience. It's it's not just a drink. It's a drink experience. And I, I guess it is better for me to be addicted to, like, Baja Blast than, like, you know, alcohol or anything like that. <laughs> Any idea when the Crown Tundra movie is coming out? I don't know when, uh, North on GameCube. I, I think uh, the Crown Tundra movie is canceled. I'm sorry. It, it's too much work. If you want to watch it, though, you can watch uh, the scrapped version of it on my channel a couple videos ago. I actually uploaded the Crown Tundra video a couple weeks ago. I'm just messing with you. So the Crown Tundra movie is already out. Restarting the move file, what starter should you pick? I think you should go with Rowlet to prepare for Legends Arceus. What's up, General Maddox? How's it going? I, I don't know how long I'm planning on streaming. Probably like three hours or so. So we got another solid, like, uh... We got some solid rumbling to do before then. Plenty of time to maybe find another shiny. Ooh, good luck, Purple Chug. Hope you get your draft soon. I almost wore my draft rig shirt, but uh, my Absol shirt, the Absol Pokemon shirt, came in the mail today, so I'm wearing that right now. I, I uh, customized it to have red buttons to represent its eyes and the shiny. Ran out of the budget for the Crown Tundra movie. <laughs> yeah, the budget ran out. It was made on a budget of, like... Three Mountain Dew Baja Blasts and like the, the $60 I paid for the DLC on both Switches. So probably a budget of about like a modest $68, maybe $69 to make it nice. Pepsi Blue? I never tried Pepsi Blue. I've never heard of that before. I'll have to try it when it comes out. I, I enjoyed Crystal Pepsi. That was interesting. Like a clear drink that doesn't taste like a clear drink. The Shield Badge Quest I'm working on too. I'm on the fourth hunt of that right now. And uh, if y'all really want to, I can spoil one of the shinies I've found so far or the hunt that I'm currently doing. I might do another Animal Crossing stream someday. My town is kind of a mess right now though. It's it's not prepared for visitors. It's a little bit untidy because I haven't played the game for a couple months sometimes. So it's like all full of weeds and flowers overtook the entire town. So I've got a lot of remodeling to do. Before I, I want to open up my Animal Crossing town to the public's viewing again. Yeah, the odds are probably 1 in 80, 1 92. What's my opinion on the RPG element of the new Arceus game? I really like how um, they're, they're really taking a crazy adventurous step with it, you know? I, I think it's going to be very different in a cool way. 
It, it kind of reminds me of like the kind of crazy stuff that they did with Colosseum and XD back in the day. That kind of like adventure or like step away from the typical Pokemon formula. So I'm very excited for it. I've always, I, I think in the past, I've even talked about wanting to see a Pokemon game that takes place in the distant past. Because there's so many good stuff that they could cover. Like, they legitimately could do a Legends game for almost every generation, except for maybe Gen 1. Like, they could take us back to the story of Suicune, Raikou, and Entei in Gen 2. They could take us back to, like, the Draconids and stuff in, uh, in Gen 3, Ray Rayquaza and stuff. In Gen 5, we could go back to the times when, like, the Swords of Justice were at war with people. And there, was, there wasn't harmony between people and Pokemon. In Gen 6, we could go back to, like, the times of AZ and his Floet and the Ultimate Weapon. And I think that could be potentially the best one out of all of them. Uh, that's the best idea. As much as I like the idea for uh, Arceus. And in Gen 7, they could go back to, like, the original Kahunas and stuff. We were talking about that on stream a couple nights ago, actually. So some of those were suggestions from other people in the chat. Don't spoil... Okay, I see enough people saying don't spoil where I won't spoil what I've been hunting on my badge quest. But I've done some pretty interesting stuff on it so far, I think. Like, I've kind of, like, taken a few really weird detours to, like, do some glitch hunting. And I, I made use of a glitch to do one of my hunts, but it's not what you'd think. It's, it's a pretty weird hunt that I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone attempt in Sword and Shield before. Oh, yeah, Pepsi Next was really good. I got that back in, like, uh, my college's cafeteria all the time. And they did do that, like, Tiger and Bunny promo with it. They partnered with that anime. It had, like, a blue label, right? Yeah, Conquest went to the past. That's true. Kind of different from, like, a main series Pokemon game, though. It was, like, a spinoff. And it was also a tie-in with another game series. The um, Nobunaga's Ambition series of games. So it was already kind of an already existing universe they went to there. Which is based on the real feudal Japan. Pokemon Legends Call of Duty following Lieutenant Surge in the war. Imagine that. That would be something else. Where do you get the shirts from? This is from Original Stitch. I think the website's OriginalStitch.net slash Pokemon. They have designs for all of the first Gen 1 and 2 Pokemon. And uh, 34 of the Gen 3 Pokemon so far. And they plan on adding more soon. This is not sponsored in any sort of way. But I really like the shirts so far. I've, I've ordered a few of them. They're really good quality for the price. They're fully customizable. And uh, there are a few promo codes out there that you can use for free shipping. I've always used the Serebi promo code to get free shipping on the order. <laughs> Imagine if I recruited Sephiroth Supra. I've seen all sorts of crazy things in this game that I didn't actually see. Like, once I was like on the verge of falling asleep while playing this and I thought I found a shiny and I didn't. And I reacted, and it woke me up, and it, it was nothing. When will I release the badge quest? Whenever it gets done. It's something that i kind of just doing at my leisure every now and then. Like, sometimes at night, like, maybe around 11 o'clock, I want to just kick back. Maybe watch an, a stream or some anime or something. Or just hang out in a call with some friends. And whenever I do that, I, I hunt on the badge quest. And congrats, Whoopi Hunter. Congrats on the Sand Slash. That's a great one. I'm hoping for Absol the most out of all of them, but I don't really have a target when I hunt in Rumble, for the most part, Fishly. I would add a, a, another Pokemon to the layout right now if I were doing, like, a regular shiny hunting stream. But for Rumble Weekend, I, I just put Pokemon on the layout that I've already found while streaming. So I don't want to confuse people by adding Pokemon to the layout that um, I'm not hunting in Rumble. I think they also have, like, special, like, masks and stuff. They have a bunch of other products with those same fabrics, too. Cloud plays Pokemon. What's up? What are my favorite animes? I've got quite a few. It's hard for me to pick just one favorite. That's a common theme with my life, by the way. I'm really bad at just picking a single favorite when it comes to things, other than my favorite Pokemon being Absol. But some of my favorite anime of all time. Ping Pong the Animation... Mob Psycho 100, specifically Season 2, Cowboy Bebop, Hunter x Hunter, um, Tengen Tapa, Garun Lagan, that's another one that's way up there. Uh, Haikyuu's also up there. Lots of really good stuff out there. 
I am recording my reactions to the badge quest. Oh yeah, everything's on recording, for sure. I'm almost always hunting while recording at the same time. There is no chance for the shiny to not be picked up when you knock it out, thankfully. Unless it knocks itself out with its own move. Like, if you're fighting up against a Mizdravis that uses Parish Song, Parish Song, you'll never recruit it. If it uses par if it if it dies to Parish Song, or if a Pokemon take uses a move that takes recoil damage and it dies to the recoil damage, then it will uh, not be recruited. Those are the main ways you can fail a shiny in this game. And there's also some human error to it too. Like I always press plus and exit the terminal at the end of every single like uh, run, and it's easy to forget that you have a shiny with you and do that. And you lose um, your shiny if you do it that way. I've lost a couple things over the years that way, but I normally remember. Can I confidently say that Baja Blast is my favorite drink? Yeah, if I had to pick one, I could say Baja Blast. Yeah. It's up there. For sure. It's up there enough to the point where I wouldn't be disappointed to, like, call it my favorite drink. I don't, like, waver on it, you know? And how you doing, Bino, by the way? Hope your hunts have been going good. I know you've been going for some really crazy stuff. I still gotta watch your, uh, Pichu video. I think you recently put that out. The, the surfing Pichu from, uh, from, uh, Pokemon Box? I think it's so cool that, like, it actually has the surfing animation when it's a Pikachu in Coliseum 2. It's so rad. What's up, Spaghetti Man? How's it going? How long do I usually hunt for a session? It really depends. Like, uh, usually in a good hunting session, I go for at least, uh, 30 to 40 minutes. I don't usually hunt for, like, super marathon periods of time unless it's, like, a rumble weekend or something. That's the only time that I really ever go, like, all day hunting. But, uh, I'd say an average night of shiny hunting is probably three to four hours of hunting. So I always take it at a kind of relaxed pace. That's why I don't always... I, I don't find shinies as frequently as a lot of shiny hunters out there. But I'm almost always hunting. I do a little bit of hunting every day. In fact, I put in, like, maybe 15 to 20 minutes every day during a work meeting that I do. Like, our daily status meeting... I um, always have a couple games going with the constant hunt there. I haven't seen any JoJo's yet. I know it's full of all sorts of stuff, though. Absol Blogs Baja Blast. Yeah, basically. I think I'm going to pick Cyndaquil in um, Legends Arceus, Holly. I think that's the one that I want to go for out of the three of them. Because Cyndaquil was like my, my OG starter back in the day in Gen 2. What's the rarest random shiny I've gotten? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, let's see. It was my Butterfree, actually. My first ever random shiny was a Butterfree in the bug catching contest when I was a kid. And I didn't think it was anything special. It was my first random shiny ever, and I thought it was just another event in game like the Red Gyarados. You could find the pink Butterfree. Like, the logic was all there. I don't, I don't look back at my past self with, like, any sort of regret for thinking of that. Like, I thought I was actually kind of smart for thinking of that. But I, I didn't catch it, which was dumb. Am I live on Twitch? I hope I'm not right now. If I am, uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> if y'all are watching this on Twitch right now, I'm, I'm streaming on YouTube right now. If, if I am live on Twitch at the same time right now, and I'm reading the chat on there. So, yeah, just, just a heads up. Yeah, it's sad that Calyrex is shiny locked. It would be so cool to hunt. It would be such an interesting hunt to do, too, since you also, like, encounter the horse at the same time. Like, imagine how cool that would be for each of them to have an individual chance of being shiny. So you catch both of them to see if either of them are shiny at the end of the encounter. Would be so sick. And Sfeel! The Pokemon Sfeel itself supporting me with the super chat. Thank you, Sfeel. I really appreciate that. I might actually go out of my way to hunt you in Shoal Cave someday now, though. Thank you so much, Sfeel. My first shiny that I actually caught was Lickitung. I failed a couple random shinies before catching my uh, Butterfree. I mean, catching that Lickitung. So I had crazy luck with shinies back in Gen 2 when I was a little kid. Like, I got, um, I ran into that Butterfree, which I failed. I ran into a Flaffy that I thought was a glitch and turned off the game for some dumb reason. And uh, then I ran into a Tangela, which fled from me, because it's one of the few species of Pokemon in the Gen 2 games that actually has a small chance of running from you every turn, like a Safari Pokemon. And then I finally caught Lickitung, so I got some stuff to reclaim. 
But yeah, my first my first shiny that I actually caught was that Lickitung and Crystal, named Special. I didn't make that up. <laughs> and Taco Talon, the the I almost said sub again. Because I see you on Twitch a lot, Taco Talon. I, I naturally gravitate towards the word sub for you for some reason. Thank you, Taco Talon. I appreciate that. For the super chat. Umbreon would be so sick to get. Any evolutions in this game are, are incredible finds. Yeah, if Calyrex could be shiny, I, I do think I would have hunted it during the Crown Tundra movie. I would have actually taken that extra time to hunt it. The shiny I want to find most this weekend is Absol. I don't have one yet in this game. I gotta go back to Gen 2 someday. I've been doing a little bit of Gen 2 on and off every now and then. You dare me to hunt shiny Tynamo and Solosis in black. It's quite the dare. Tynamo would be a fun one to go for since you can use like static to find it more easily. What's the Deoxys code? I don't remember what the Deoxys code is off the top of my head. I think it was 11 2020 It was like 11 something 2020. It's the date of the last Rumble Weekend, so try each of the individual dates for Rumble Weekend 19 and you might be able to get it that way. Congrats on the Marsh Tomp, Taz. That's sick. I really like that one. Steve just uh, uploaded his video today of the one that he found uh, using Island Scan and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Sonics. They should stop shiny locking Pokemon, for real. I'm sick of it. I was so sad when like I learned that the, the starters were locked in Sword and Shield. Because I almost wanted to, to hunt for one, you know? I do have quite a few shinies on Quest. I played it a lot when it first came out, but I kind of fell off of it. While some of my friends went on to complete the entire shiny decks in that game. Actually, a crazy task that they, they pulled off there. But I got a, a few interesting rare ones. Like, I have Porygon, which I'd consider to be fairly rare in that game. Eleven twenty one twenty twenty. Yeah, it's very good for a playthrough. This Deoxys will, like, breeze through the game. Favorite shiny Pokemon is Absol. Least favorite, I don't know. And honestly, I don't know M and JTV at all. I've seen some of his videos before, but I've, like, never interacted with him. Play a Pokemon mod for Friday Night Funkin'. I listened to that whole soundtrack while streaming not too long ago. It's, a, it's full of jams, I'll have to say that. I haven't actually played the game yet, though. What do you think the reason is that they shiny lock Pokemon? So they've been pretty inconsistent with the reasoning that they've given over the years when asked. Like, some of the time it's, like, to preserve, like, how Pokemon appear in cutscenes. But I can think of so many exceptions for things that they didn't shiny lock that appear non-shiny in cutscenes. Especially in recent games, like the Ultra Beast and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I, I honestly don't know. Sometimes, I really do think the reasoning is that they want, like, the Pokemon to be given out shiny exclusively through an event as a way to encourage people to participate in Pokemon events. Like, the, the Tapus, I'm fully convinced we didn't get top, shiny Tapus in Gen 7 so they could, like, kind of hold them hostage and use them to advertise the official, like, VGC tournaments and stuff that they would host online. Because they gave them out as uh, a presence if you participated in those tournaments and did a, at least a few battles. So I think they kind of did it for advertising purposes, or to like dangle the shiny in front of us so we would uh, go out of our way to participate in those tournaments, get the numbers up for them. That's more of a conspiracy theory side of things, though. Like the cutscene thing is like a definitive actual reason they've given for why they shiny locks on Pokemon. Yeah, all the legends in Let's Go. That's, a, that's another example of like an exception to the cutscene thing. I'm playing this on my Wii U. And welcome people from the Puffin Raid. Hope you had a good stream. You got a shiny Pidgey and let's go. It was timid. A little shy guy. And Animal Xing. Animal Crossing with the uh, super chat. Thank you. Happy Rumble weekend to you as well. It's the first time doing it. Good luck. Uh, the Deoxys. So if you're on the weekend edition mod, you put in the password 11212020 at the password station. And you'll get it. If you're playing on the most recent version of the weekend edition mod. That's awesome, Holly. 
Second encounter, Shiny Cubone, you can't beat that. Well, actually you can. You can get a first encounter, Shiny Cubone. So you can totally beat that, but that's still sick. Rumble's pretty fun, sugar. It really is. It's a good time. It's also a pretty quick playthrough, too. Like, if you're playing Rumble for the first time, you can totally play through the entire game to reach the point where you can find everything in one weekend, if you so choose. But you can shiny hunt at any point in this game, too. You can find shinies, like, even in, like, the lowest rank of normal mode. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Chosen Signer. Like, so many people probably missed those events because they didn't know you had to register online for it. I almost missed a couple of them myself. I haven't been as on top of events as I used to be back in the day. Back when events were a little bit more special, you know? Like, they had all the GameStop events that were actually for really crazy stuff. Like, you know, the Mythicals. I've never played a Persona game. I've listened to the soundtrack some. And I've kind of unwill unwillingly listened to a lot of the soundtrack, too, because it keeps showing up in my Spotify weekly every single week. I, I can't get rid of the Persona songs on there, but it's, it's got some good soundtracks. And I'm sure they're really good games, but I've, I've never given them a chance. So many people daring me to hunt certain Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe I will someday. Who knows? Rumble Weekend's a great time. I look forward to it so much every single time. It, it's so much fun. There is nothing like playing this game until I'm like literally passing out holding the controller. I, I haven't played any of those Pokemon fan games. Like the ones that are like built from scratch and like RPG Maker. This kind of counts a little bit as like a, a fan game though. Because like it's a, it's a mod of Pokemon Rumble. You once walked to GameStop for Shiny Palkia? I'm sure that was a fun trip. I remember when they did that event. That was a good time. Oh, crazy. I I've never seen Spiderweb in action like that before. You le legitimately can't move when it's used on you. My first random Shiny. The first one I actually caught was Lickitung. The first one I ever found was Butterfree. Both in gold. Well, actually, no. The Butterfree was in gold. The Lickitung was in crystal. A plushy Pokemon game would be amazing, Cinnabox. I'd love to see that. I've played the Pokemon TCG very, very, very casually. Like, uh, going over to a friend's place with an Elite Trainer box and uh, trying to play with, like, decks based, based off of, like, a few packs. That was very, very fun. But I haven't gotten into the competitive side of things for it because I'm, I'm more of a collector when it comes to the TCG. Always have been. And Sugar with the Super Chat, too. Thank you. Really appreciate that. $5. Thanks so much. Sounds good, Endless Overtime. Good seeing you, as always. Shuckle. Shucky. Yeah, deep Floating Deoxys is sick. Feels like I'm powered up right now. <laughs> Mr. Plush series. Yes, please. I can see why you would want to see like a plush Pokemon game. I don't know why, but I, I think you strike me as a person who would really enjoy that. I don't know what's it, what, it, what really makes me think that, though, Mr. Plush series. That's crazy, Spaghetti Man. Grass on the Shuttle. Are you talking Rumble, Shuckle? That's crazy rare, if so. What shiny did I find? It's at the bottom left corner of the layout. It's, uh, Makuhita. You missed the black and white 2012 format because you had an Eels deck for it, and that's why you love Electros line. Oh, yeah, there were all sorts of interesting th things there. Look how look at these thick Barboach, by the way. They're incredible looking, the little Barboach noodles. But, um, yeah... They, I forget what they call them, like, something spec cards, really, really crazy hollow patterns, and they were like Pokemon tools. And I really like the secret rare shinies they had going in uh, the black and white era, too. The shiny Verizion card is, like, one of my favorite cards that I own. Rumble Weekend is indeed life, crazy gaming bros. 
Yeah, Deoxys is insanely fast. I will say, though, I made Speed Deoxys very fast for this mod. <laughs> Might be the fastest Pokemon in the game. What would my team be if I were a gym leader? That's a tough question. I don't know if I'd want to be a Dark-type gym leader as much as I'd like to have an Absol on my team. Because I think my favorite type is Psychic. And I'd have a Giraffe Rig on my team for sure. But I don't know what else I'd have. Who wants to eat Tynamo? I don't want to eat Tynamo. What are you talking about? A spec, that's what it is. I was thinking like X spec, and I was like, no, that's like an X special that you use in the game. That's right. I freaked out the first time I pulled one of those because I was super out of the loop. Like I didn't, I wasn't watching like any TCG videos. I just bought a random pack of one of the plasma sets back in the day. Pulled one of those, and I was like, what on earth am I looking at right now? I almost thought it was an error because I don't think it was in the rare slot of the pack, but I, I didn't know that it came in the reverse slot. One of my favorite sets ever was Legendary Treasures. Had that whole Radiant collection with it and stuff too. You were guaranteed something cool in every pack. Yeah, this is Pokemon Rumble. But this is a modded version of it called Weekend Edition that has the Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon as well. Pokemon Rumble for the Wii. I'm playing it on my Wii U right now with a... Uh, controller thing. <laughs> I'll have to check that out, Stone Mahogany. I don't know if I did or not. We'll have to see. I'll check that out after the stream. What do you think the other Pokemon was? Actually, you know what? I'll check that right now. Apologies for checking my phone. I just want to see if it actually is or not. Oh, the com oh, the, the, oh, that was a that was a normal Slugma. That wasn't a shiny. Uh, there are normal sparkling Pokemon in this game that uh, just mean that they're a guaranteed recruit, but uh, they're not a different color like shinies are, so they're not shinies. So I didn't miss a 2-in-1 run. It's, it's like, it looks like a GameCube controller, but it's attached to uh, the Wii Remote, so I don't really know what to call it. I think they called it a fight pad or something. It's like the classic controller, but it's different. Hooks directly up to the Wii Remote, though. Like this. Can you try to get a shiny Chikorita? Every time that we go into the uh, Silent Forest, we got a, ch a shot at it. It's hard to specifically target one Pokemon in this game, though, unless it spawns in the boss room. It's kind of luck of the draw. Yeah, if the boss is shiny, it'll show up in the cutscene. It's the coolest thing. I've only found two boss shinies in all my years of rumbling, but that's still pretty lucky because a lot of people have never even found one that have been rumbling for all these years. It's a really, really rare occurrence. But the boss can be shiny. And I found a boss Vespaquin and a boss Hippowdon. And the Vespaquin was on stream. It was during one of these kickoff streams. So at any moment, we could pop off with a shiny boss. You just use your PS4 controller, Dolphin? That sounds awesome, Bapo. That does sound super, super com comfortable. I almost said that sounds super, super controller. And I guess it really is super, super controller still, too. I, I, I thought I had something in my ear, like a bug landed on it or something. I was about to freak out, but then I realized it was my earbuds that I just have plugged in, even though there's no sound coming through them. Yeah, Fight Pad, that's it. I got it from uh, GameStop. They were on sale for really, really cheap there. Shinies are guaranteed recruits, thankfully. And the odds are most likely 1 in 81, 92, but I have no exact confirmation of that at the moment. That's something we're still actively trying to figure out in Rumble. Hopefully we'll get another one, Cole. Yeah, the boss shinies are guaranteed too. If you defeat them, it's very, very possible to uh, lose to a boss and not get to keep it. So you got to be careful. 
There's some bosses like Cresselia and Regigigas that I could see people legitimately like losing to and failing. I've also seen people fail some shinies in the past in other ways, like uh, they wait around a bit too long in the boss room, showing off the boss, and it knocks them out without them expecting it. So you gotta be careful when you find a shiny boss, it's kind of scary. Earbugs. <laughs> It is really crazy, for sure, Bailey Blight. Especially, like, our, a random spinoff from 4th Gen like this. Given how many Pokemon spinoffs back then didn't have Shinies. It was kind of crazy that they just decided to include them in this one out of the blue. And I talked about it briefly in the Rumble video I just made, but the uh, Mystery Dungeon WiiWare games that never left Japan, that recently got fan translated, they also have some random Shinies in it. Granted, not every Pokemon in that game can be Shiny, but... Um, Nevertheless, there are shinies that are possible in that game, which is so sick. Which one of the new Sinnoh games I'm going to get? I'm going to get all of them. That's just how I am these days. I got to catch them all. But uh, my main game is going to be Brilliant Diamond. Like, if I were to make a movie for those games, it will be a Brilliant Diamond movie. Did I walk past a uh, Quilava? I don't know if I did. Like, a lot of y'all saying I miss shinies when they're just sparkling Pokemon that are normal colored. Happens every Rumble weekend. Grats on the Paris Taco Talon. That's sick. And yeah, I found a Makuhita. All the shinies I've found so far are at the bottom left corner of the layout. And it'll stay that way. Level 100 with the Guitar Hero controller would be something else. Maybe one day I'll do a batch quest of BDSP. Oh, sorry to hear that, Brennan. Hope this rumble stream didn't cause it in some way. Yeah, it's on Project Pokemon. That's where you find the layout. I mean, the, the download to the, uh, the patch file for this mod. I didn't know that, Mr. H. That's cool. So they, they actually have, like, another extra functional reason in that game, too. In this game, shinies always are guaranteed to have a special trait, like speedy or something that gives them, like, extra stuff. And thanks for checking out the Quilava from earlier. Yeah. Happens every Rumble weekend. And a while back, there was a pretty long-standing meme where someone would drop in and tell me that I missed a shiny Squirtle. Every single time. Yeah, it's all good. No worries at all. Like, it's, it's a common misconception. I don't blame you at all for, like, thinking I missed a shiny when I walk past something sparkling. Because, uh, you know, in games like Let's Go, it's so crazy to see something sparkling at all. What is that? Oh, that's a Shaman. That's a Shaman. That's sick. Oh, I got Destiny Bonded. Smacked by Destiny Bond. That was a Minin. Not a Plusle. Shiny Plusle is just dark red, too. Thanks, Nightshade. Appreciate that. Welcome. Hope you're having a good night. Why Squirtle specifically? That's just the one that they chose to harass me with. But in a funny way, not like actually harass me with. Yeah, I bet I could get the red Gyarados in under 50 encounters. You just got off of a voice call from the person who was trolling me about Squirtle? Let's go. The legend still lives on. You missed a shiny Smeargle. <laughs> Shedinja was sparkling. Yeah, that, that Shedinja was sparkling, but it's normal. There are normal sparkling Pokemon in this game, and that just means they're a guaranteed recruit. All shinies in this game are a different color and also sparkle. So I kind of ignore some of the sparkling Pokemon if I know they're not shiny. It is theoretically possible to one day add in the Gen 5 Pokemon and stuff, but it's not in my future plans for this right now. It's a lot of extra work, because if you watch my most recent video about Rumble, the framework for the Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon were already there. And adding Gen 5 and up would be a lot different of an undertaking from just adding the Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon back, because you'd have to like be doing a bunch of extra expansions to like the game and stuff to really make it work. There, there, there are a lot more steps to adding in the Gen 5 plus Pokemon, basically. 
And for most of them, the uh, the uh, shiny textures don't exist for the Rumble models. Because after this game, they decided that they didn't want to make shinies in Rumble anymore. Except for like a select few in Rumble U that can be found through passwords. Oh, I missed a shiny Greninja. Oh no, dude. Rip. And Fomantis. Oh no. Heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. What shiny do I really want in Go? Absol. I've been, like, it's one of the only things that I'll actually raid a lot. I don't like doing raids in Go for the most part. Like, I'll maybe do a couple legendary raids to get something for the Pokedex or maybe to help out a friend every now and then. But I really don't like the act of continuously buying raid passes because it feels like I'm, it's a real gotcha game at that point. Like, you don't even have, you're not even guaranteed to catch the legendary after you beat it. You might waste the raid pass without even beating the legendary and stuff. I'm not a big fan of raids in general, but I'll buy as many raid passes as I need for Absol. So I guess I am a victim of the gotcha game at the end of the day. But uh, that's the one that I want the most. I think Lieutenant Surge plays Call of Duty on DS. He does download play with his friends. I used to do download play DS Call of Duty with my brother. It was a great time. It was pretty fun. Until my R button went out on my DS. Then I was at a severe disadvantage because I couldn't shoot anymore. Couldn't really do much. <laughs> There's so many free passes now. Yeah, they always release free raid passes when I'm not interested in any of the raid Pokemon at all. So I never use them because I already have three raid passes at that point. And I'm afraid I won't use my raid passes by the time that the uh, offer for the free raid passes expire. So I, I never use them. Because <laughs> all I do are remote raids. I'm not actually near any gyms that I can like actually walk up to most of the time. Because you can only have three remote raid passes at once. I wish they would remove that limit or something. Oh no, Zap Cannon. Doesn't have 50% accuracy in this game. Zap Cannon is brutal from those Ampharos. My friend Phil was telling me this the other day. He and his brothers, they uh, they use Zap Cannon whenever they bring up something that's a 50% chance. Like, they're always like, oh, that's a Zap Cannon. Alright, Zane, this is getting kind of annoying where you're just, like, listing off random Pokemon that I may have missed and they weren't actually shiny. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, the limit is pretty annoying. There's so many, like, arbitrary limits in Pokemon Go in general. They really want you to spend that money to upgrade your bag, your storage, your incubators, the eggs and stuff. Shiny Hunter Keith, how's it going? What's up, Bagel Teeth? How are you doing tonight? How long am I planning on streaming? Probably for another couple hours, I'd say. We got a solid two hours of rumbling on stream left for today. And then uh, on Sunday, I'm, I'm going to be doing a short daytime stream over on Twitch. Oh, I missed a normal jump off. Darn. Darn. Unreal. Oh, we just walked past a normal Beldum. So unfortunate. So wait, you can get, like, the multiple free passes if you have, like, two? It's it's so weird, though. Like, if you already have three, they don't let you collect the three passes. And I usually keep my three raid passes saved up most of the time. I, the, I will say, though, I've been complaining about the raid system and go and stuff, though. I think the remote raid system is really smart for the most part, otherwise. I really enjoy that. Because most of the time, I don't like doing, like, actual meetups with raid groups and stuff. So, being able to, like, just get some friends together to, to knock out raids is incredible. One of the best things they've ever done. 
Why am I not the biggest fan of Rumble World? It's because, like, it kind of took away the reason why I enjoy playing through this one so much in the first place. Like, um... I'm sure, like, if you get the full version of the game, it alleviates this a little bit. But you're not able to just sit there and do infinite runs. Like, uh, there's, like, cooldown on all sorts of things. And you don't have full actual freedom over the stage that you're going to. Like, you pick a spot, and then the roulette wheel spins, and it determines what how cool of a stage you're going to. And... I just don't like how that's all determined. I, I'd, I'd much rather be like this, where you choose a level, has a huge, massive pool of Pokemon that can spawn. You can find something super rare every single time you walk into one of these levels. And I like that a lot more than things being predetermined beforehand. That's crazy, Keith. Three shiny Rookity? That's a lot. All in one day. Yeah, the shiny raids are like 1 in 30. That's true, too. Some people sink some serious money into those those raid passes for the shiny legendaries. And Sizzlin! Appreciate that, dude. Sizzlin99, the gift sub master. I'll just say thanks for the gift sub, even though it's a super chat. <laughs> How many shiny Pokemon do I have? I don't have a good concrete number. I'll have to go through my collection someday to actually find out. And Bagel Teeth too! The Super Chat, I appreciate that. Thank you for the $15. Or, sorry, not $15. $14.99. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. Glad you find it fun here. I, I find this a lot of fun, too. <laughs> yeah, Rumble Blast. I think I said this earlier. It might be objectively the best Rumble game. Except for the fact that it doesn't have shinies. It's my favorite out of the series, otherwise. What's up, Crow? How's it going? Yeah, you missed the, the shiny Makuhita we got earlier in the stream. The knight is still young, though. I think we have a solid chance of finding another. I don't know if I've ever actually missed or walked by a shiny in this game. I'm sure at some point I have. Maybe something that even spawned in off screen behind me that I didn't go back and, excuse me, check. But as far as I'm aware at the moment, I haven't walked past something that's actually shiny in this game before. I have gone to terminal on accident a couple times with shinies in my party though. Did I do the one day Kanto tour? I did. I had a pretty fun time with it. But it was chaotic too. Like there were so many field research tasks. I was considering I was considering making a video about it and I started filming it and stuff, but I saw how much field research I had to do and I was like, "Okay, I just got to hunker down and actually just do all this stuff." And I ran my phone battery down playing out there and ended up not filming enough to actually make a real video off of it. But it was a fun time. I got a few cool shinies too. I got a Hitmon Lee. That was probably the best one I found the entire time. Gotcha, watch out. So yeah, I'm at a severe disadvantage with those Absol raids I'm doing. <laughs> I'm always hoping to hatch an Absol from an egg, too. I know a lot of people are disappointed when they hatch Absol because it appears a lot, but I'm always begging for it to happen. Yeah, how would I know if I did? That's true. The only way would be if I'm streaming like this and someone actually points it out instead of just joking about it. Or mistaking like a sparkling Pokemon for it. And even at that point, you never know. I might have made a mistake when adding the shiny textures for one of these Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon. So there might be a shiny that's just lurking in the game somewhere that uh, looks no different. Yeah, the collection challenges were insane. The evolution one specifically was crazy. I was like scrambling to do all of those. Maybe I'd stream Pokemon Go someday if I was a little bit better prepared for it. Like, my phone isn't well equipped for streaming Go, especially, like, out in the wild. Because, like, it's got, uh, it, it does not have the best battery life, and I don't have, like, any sort of, like, extra external packs or anything for that. Yeah, this is the Wii one. Thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> this is just what happens when I don't cut my hair for a year. There's so much duality about how people feel about this hair. Like, every single video I post, there's someone in the comments that's like, I enjoyed this vid. Get a haircut. 
they're, they're always really aggressive about the haircuts. Or people are like, yeah, this hair, man, it's crazy. And then there are also people who are like, I thought you were wearing a wig. And I'm like, fair enough. How's it going, Splemus? How do you get the Deoxys? So there's an event that was uh, added last Rumble weekend in the most recent patch of the game. Where if you use the code 11212020, you get a speedy speed form Deoxys with Sky Attack and Agility. I did know you were going to say that, Cinebox, because this is stream This stream is pre-recorded. You're not actually watching a stream right now. What was modded on Mystery Dungeon? They fan-translated the game from Japanese to English. How much does this game cost? It originally cost $15 back whenever it was actually available on the Wii Shop channel. But when they shut the Wii Shop channel down in uh, 2019, and there is no longer a way to purchase this game. Because it was digital download only. There exist no physical copies of Pokemon Rumble. And if they're due, they're like probably like developer copies that might be floating around somewhere in Japan. Just the way it be. Grats, ya boy. That's sick. Ya boy. Probably not ya boy. I, w I was trying to do my longest yeah boy ever the other night while I was hunting Bayleaf, though. I, I got a solid 37 seconds on stream. It's pretty good. Grass on the Celebi. Thank you, Pika Lane. <laughs> and welcome. This is your birthday Rumble weekend stream. Well, actually, no. That'll be on, like, Sunday. In during the day. All those Spinda. I wouldn't mind getting another Spinda. So something interesting about the shiny Spinda in this game that could shed a little bit of light on how shinies are generated. Um, Professor Rex and Tops pointed this out to me because they, they do a lot of hunting on the same file. Both of the shiny Spinda that they got had the exact same spot pattern on the same file. So there might be some code in the game that forces a shiny, maybe at 1 in 81, 92. And it'll always force the same PID for the shiny whenever it becomes a shiny. So um, all of their spindas, the shiny ones at least, had the same spot pattern. Which is really fascinating. And when I looked at the games, like, whenever I was looking at memory, at like all my shinies on my file, most of them shared the same PID. So that's a pretty fascinating thing. You'll, you're very likely to get identical shiny spindas in this game because of that. Which is normally, like, astronomically rare in the main series. Something that should never happen. Well, I make a video about how much shiny Pokemon I have. Maybe one of these days, I'll, I'll go through my entire collection, go through all my cartridges, talk about shinies, tell the stories of some of them that I found before I started making videos and stuff. Could be a good cozy time. A Pokemon Quest stream. I feel like there wouldn't be much gameplay there. I'd just be sitting here chatting, but I guess that could be chill too. Maybe one day I'll stream some quests. I haven't touched it in a long time, so it'd be fun to go back to it, see what's up. It's all you gotta do, Taco Talon. Yeah, I, I suspect you're not alone in that, having an illegal copy of Rumble. <laughs> in, in some cases, the game might even legally be, cons be considered abandonware at this point, since there's no way to purchase it. I, I think there's some, like, abandoned wear clauses on stuff where a game is no longer available to purchase where it's, it becomes, like, actually legal to download it. But it's kind of a gray area. I don't know much about video game law. I'm no video game law expert. It might be a lot like bird law, which isn't governed by reason. Copyright law sure isn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm a programmer for work. I don't work on any video games, though. I mostly just fix bugs. But not literal bugs, like programming bugs. Pokemon Channel Stream. That would be something else. Imagine trying to speedrun Pokemon Channel. That would be a fun time. <laughs> I'd have to, like, change the GameCube's date a few days forward to watch that. I gotta look into what the Pokemon Channel speedrunning community is like, if there is one. What a fascinating game to do, like, with that. Oh, good luck on the Nikita. That's an awesome one. That's such a good good thing to go for because when you get it shiny and it evolves, you get two shinies out of it. It's two shinies in one. Great target. 
I plan on doing another Dynamax Adventure stream someday, too. I did that a little while back while I was also hunting Bayleaf on Twitch, and that was a good time. I want to get at least one Shiny Legendary through the Dynamax Adventures. I still haven't gotten one yet. When am I going to make another movie? So, Heart of a Drummer, uh, eventually. Probably when Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl come out, I'll work on another movie. But I'm also working on a Shield Badge quest right now, and that's going to be a fairly long video, so that might be movie length as well. For now, though, my main focus is going to be working on some level 100 gauntlets and stuff, getting some old shiny videos out there over, like, making more movies. The world record's 45 minutes. That, that would be an interesting thing to try and learn the run for. I wonder if there are any crazy tricks that you have to do in the run. I will say, Pokemon Channel was uh, developed by Umbrella, which is the same company that went on to go and develop Rumble. So a lot of Pokemon Channel's soundtrack shares music with the later Rumble games. They reused a lot of their songs from Channel, and they thought that they were slick and that we wouldn't notice, but they reused Shop and Squirtle and Rumble U. And a lot of this game's sound effects are also straight out of Channel too. And now that studio, Umbrella, is totally gone. Uh, last year, after Rumble Rush failed, back in October, Creatures Inc. bought out Umbrella and effectively dissolved the studio. So we might not ever get in a Rumble game ever again, unless they just decide to, like, revive it. Yeah, I, I gotta finally upload that Reginald Rock, AVK Prophet. It's been too long. Oh yeah, you're not alone in that, Nixon. There are so many people who play this game. Pair Strike ran... I I'll have to check that out. Thanks for telling me that. Try and learn the run. Will there be another code for Speed Deoxys? It's 11-21-2020. And it'll always work if you're on the November update for a uh, weekend edition. So, that code's out there. And if you want to get a second one, you can just make a second save file. And redeem it on there. And move it to your Wii Remote. That's the big brain play. And by putting it on your Wii Remote, you can put it back on your main file. And you can have multiple Pokemon. Or multiple Deoxys. It's kind of cool how, like, uh, they they implemented the, the Wiimote storage in this game. Not many games did that, where you can, like, actually store data on the Wii Remote. I think you can store Miis on there. In uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution, you can store, like, a Battle Pass on there. And in, this, in, in Pokemon Rumble, you can store up to 10 Pokemon on there to take to, like, a friend's house or something. Or move between files. How can you play this game in the year 2021? Well, I originally bought this game back in 2014 on the Wii Shop channel. But, um... Yeah, there's no way to actually purchase this game anymore. You'd have to download the WAD file from it somewhere, which I won't disclose where you download it. But, yeah. You kind of have to emulate it or install it on a Wii with Homebrew installed. Yeah, Rumble Rush, gone too soon, or maybe gone too late, like, <laughs> I don't know too many people who actually played it. I played it for like a day and kind of gave up on it. Yusuf, how's it going, dude? Welcome. What other event Pokemon are in Rumble? Uh, there are a lot, There on Bulbapedia, there's a full list of all the password Pokemon in this game. But this Deoxys is so far the only one that is actually in the game as like a password Pokemon. Added through the Weekend Edition mod, that is. Yeah, 2014 does sound late. Yeah, I, I did start... I was a late bloomer to, to Rumble. I didn't actually start playing this game back in 2009. When it released. I didn't even know it existed until like 2014. And it was still available on the Wii Shop channel then. Grass on the Weaving Bell, Dark Main. Yeah, the on-rail style was weird. It was like a rumble auto-scroller almost. I like the, the layout of the levels at least having a little bit of variety, you know? And that game had no variety whatsoever. Zero sauce. You very nearly got a Wii with... 
<laughs> that sounds like uh, the, the whole Flappy Bird situation where people were like selling phones that had Flappy Bird installed after it was briefly taken down off like the the store, the app store back in the day. And there was that meme run game and like on the Wii U in 2014 that also got taken down and people were trying to sell Wii U's with meme run installed for like extravagant prices. Wii with Rumble installed is the is the modern equivalent of that since they took it down off the Wii Shop channel in 2019. Thank you for the avocados. I've never played a Digimon game as much as I love the, the Digimon series in general. I'll, I'll need to check out Cyber Sleuth or something someday. There are also some good classic Digimon games like the Worlds and stuff. Never played a single one though. You bought... Nice, you were a last dayer, Yusuf. That, that's crazy. You gotta wonder if you were maybe the, the very last download of that game out there. How do you increase your odds for shinies? In this game, um, there is something that was like recently like confirmed pretty much where if you're playing the game in multiplayer mode for every additional player you have, you have some boosted shiny rates going on. So there are people out there who like have like four wave birds receivers set up and control like four Pokemon at once to find like a ton of shinies every rumble weekend. But I personally prefer to kick it the classic way and just do it with one Pokemon. I already find enough shinies as it is every rumble weekend, so I, I, I much prefer it this way, personally. But if you enjoy the uh, the multiplayer, nothing against you. But yeah, that's the only kind of method in this game. And I don't know if they still update Shuffle 13. Every time I log in, they give me like a, a billion hearts. Like, it's they give me so many lives that I don't know if I'm ever going to use. I haven't played Shuffle in a while. A Togepi or Togetic would be insane to get. People still try to sell PS4 and PS5 with PT on it. That's crazy. Just adds a tiny little bit of value, I guess. Yeah, the people with the multiplayer mode, those are the ones who are popping off with like 60 to 70 Pokemon. If someone gets like at least 40 in a weekend, I, they're probably doing the multiplayer stuff. It's going all, all right, Sundance. I enjoy seeing uh, Carl Weezer's face gracing this chat. Definitely made my night a little bit better. World Tournament Gauntlet would be crazy. The PWT, one of my favorite things in Black 2 and White 2 for sure. You'd be surprised, like, if you have, like, an old phone or something that has Shuffle on it, you could probably recover your old save file somehow. I had a lot of cool stuff on there. Like, I had some Shinies. They had a bunch of Shiny events in that game, and the Shinies had different effects in battle. Romer decides to say hello. Yeah, for real. I love finding, like, the, uh... Entei, Raikun, Suicune in this. Or are you talking about your hunt that you do it? You just randomly ran into your roamer. Magikarp Jump is fun. I haven't touched that game in a long time, though, and I'm far from completing it. You go through the Magikarp cycle in that game so many times, like training a new Magikarp all the way up and stuff. It reaches a point where you kind of just go through the motions eventually, but it was a very fun time. It had a lot of charm to it. Thank you, Loic. Yeah, Barboach is a great one to get for so many reasons. I'd love to get a Barboach. Duck Hunter Shiny, how's it going? What's up, Kendra? How's it going tonight? Welcome. Two AM here. Oh yeah, it's super late for all of y'all across the world. It's just how it ends up working out with these uh kickoff streams. Well, glad you're here. 
Glad you're uh, burning that midnight oil out here right now. But the last shiny I found was a uh, Makuhita. No need to spam OG chicken. You can uh, look at the bottom left corner of the layout and see what shinies I've found so far this Rumble weekend. Thank you, 13. I did get some Pokemon merchandise at Epcot when I was a really little kid, actually, at Disney World. I got a Pokemon notebook from one of the gift shops. Really, really nice notebook. That was back when the Pokemon craze first started up. Like, had to have been, like, the year 2000. Yeah, Whiskash. I actually had a dream one night while I was working on this mod that I found a silver and gold shiny Whiskash in this game. It looks so cool. I wish that was the real shiny. I don't mind the real shiny Whiskash, though, too. I, I really like its colors still. Like the navy and orange. You got a shiny Beldum. That's a cool one, Keith. That's very cool. Do you think we can get you dance from the movie yet? I don't know. I, I think that's something I got to save for for when I find Bayleaf. That's got to be saved for a very special day. It's all, Yeah, it's like 7.30 in the evening where I'm at right now. Exactly, Estelle. I'm glad to hear that. So, like, even if we don't find any more shinies for the rest of the stream, it's already paid off because of the chunky barboach. What's up, Max Smells? I'm doing alright. I am just chilling and rumbling. We've already met our one shiny on stream for uh, the kickoff stream quota. So, I'm just big chilling, hoping to maybe find another tonight. Is rumble free? At this point, it basically is like the, the only way you can get it is for like for free by downloading it online because the original way you get this game, the Wii Shop channel, is down forever, and this game was digital only, so there are no copies of it on the secondhand market. Yeah, Rumble weekend. Whenever I'm like doing the the part of Rumble weekend where I'm just hunting offline, chilling with friends, if there's ever just a break in the conversation. For an extended period of time, we instantly just end that break by one of us excitedly just saying, Rumble Weekend, and we, we all get excited again. I'm really enjoying the GameCube game hunts, though. Like, that Bayleaf hunt is something that I, I always enjoy doing, and it's going to be so exciting when it finally happens. Yeah, when Bayleaf appears, I will definitely do that. Don't worry. I'll pull up, like, the song and everything eventually. I don't know if it'll be immediately after the reaction, but within the same stream, I will I will do a celebration dance. Isn't there, like, some kind of, like... There are definitely some dance moves in Pokemon. I think, like, Fiery Dance is, like, Volcarona's move. And I think, like, Meloetta has some dance move, if I remember correctly. Don't remember what it's called, though. How does Rumble work? So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just running through these levels where you see all of these Pokemon... And every Pokemon has a chance of being shiny. So I'm just running through these levels until uh, one of these Pokemon is a different color. And there are sparkling Pokemon too. See this wall rain right here? It's got sparkles around it. The one in the middle right here. That just means it's a guaranteed recruit when we knock it out. That doesn't mean it's shiny. Shiny Pokemon are a different color and also sparkle. That's what we're looking for. We're not going to be adding Pokemon to the layout tonight here. Because uh, the only Pokemon I add to the layout during Rumble are, like, things I've actually found during the weekend for the compilation. And I think it would just be confusing if we added anything else. Oh, yeah, the dance Calyrex does, too. That's right. Meloetta's move is Relic Song. I don't know what I'm thinking about, then. Feather Dance, Petal Dance, Teeter Dance, Tierno Dance. The legend himself, Tierno, wearing that Vanillite shirt. The dance is one of your favorite parts of the whole movie. I'm glad. I, I was looking forward to making that part of the movie above, like, so many other parts of the movie But whenever I, I did it that night. I was so excited to get to the Swords of Justice just to put that together. Thank you, Beast Kit. How often do I stream on Twitch? It's sporadic and pretty random, honestly. I don't have a schedule or anything, because, like, it's, I'm, I'm always varying degrees of busy. Working on, like, editing stuff or, like, actual work stuff. Sometimes I have to work a lot of overtime. And, uh, 
My goal is to try and stream at least once a week, but that doesn't always happen. Yeah, Generation 2 Pokemon were scrapped and removed, but this is a mod of the game that brings them all back. That I worked on last year. As a little bit of a quarantine project. For a couple months. Yeah, Swords Dance. That's another one. True. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon have really cool name etymology like that. Beipo. Or Choreo. Oriole and uh, Choreography. That's a, that's a really cool one. And, and Meryl, that's um, Marinara, chill, because it's a pretty chill Pokemon, and it likes pasta. That That's Meryl's etymology. Marinara, chill. And Lantern, um, local area network, and then uh, Turn. Because it, it really likes to go and unplugs peop, unplug Ethernet cables from people's computers and run away with them. Lunar Dance. That's another one, too. So many dance moves in Pokemon. What's my job? I'm a programmer. For now. Dragon Dance. That, too. Good old D-Dance. Yo, they made Brendan into a Pokemon pasta? Yeah. <laughs> Your fried bread. The pasta king. Meryl Nera. <laughs> I can assure you that, that that is definitely Meryl's name etymology. I asked um, Junichi Masuda himself, and he told me, Marinara, chill. Game Freak, they were, they, were, they were up at the Game Freak office eating a lot of Italian food when they were designing Gen 2. What's up, Moonlight? How's it going? Programmer? More like pro gamer. <laughs> Not too far off, letter-wise. You're right. What made me decide to put Shiny Ditto in the thumbnail? It was one of the ones that I found last Rumble weekend that was really cool. There's really no rhyme or reason behind what I put in the thumbnail for these kickoff streams. I just pick a random Pokemon that I got from the last Rumble weekend and make it the thumbnail. And Ditto also just looks really funny in Rumble. It almost looks like a t-shirt if you look at it the right way. Just like a super low poly t-shirt 3D model. Does my uncle work at Game Freak? No, my aunt does. Thank you, Mr. Meeseeks. Appreciate that. What's my favorite non-mainline Pokemon game? Maybe like the Explorers Mystery Dungeon games or uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Either of those. What language do I program in? Mostly Java and C++. You thought the shiny Ditto was a normal Quagsire. Imagine. How often do I play Rumble? Really not super, super often. Like, uh... Like, it's something that happens only every now and then. I think Dallas actually does have a blue Ditto shirt. Like, it's a blue shirt with Ditto's face on it. Spree Markinize has a Ditto shirt. 
Most of my time with this game has been like modding it in the past year. So I mainly only play on Rumble Weekends. And I play so much on Rumble Weekends, I burn myself out on it until the next Rumble Weekend. So it's a perfect cycle. Like, I am so pumped to play this game right now, and I can see myself going all weekend long. And then I'll be very tired of it by the end of the weekend, but not super actually very tired of it. But I'll be wanting to take a little break from it. Yeah, Arceus can randomly spawn in anywhere. Do I have any generations full living decks? I have an entire 4th gen living decks in Heart Gold. Like 1 through 493 every form. Thanks, Rob Tree. I appreciate that. I'm really glad to hear that. That's like the whole point of these events in the first place. Just to like bring people in and try out hunts that they've never done before. And uh, get a little bit closer to the community too. It's a good time for real. I I'm really glad to hear it's had that effect on you. Thanks, Jadelyn. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hope you're having a good night. Welcome to the stream. Why do I like shiny Pokemon so much? Because it's like something that... It's it's hard to describe, but there, there are definite reasons behind it. It's something that wasn't really advertised as a game mechanic. It's not a core game mechanic in at least the earlier Pokemon games at all. It was something that, in fact, most people would probably miss out on, aside from the Red Gyarados. Like... If you were to get like a thousand people to play through Pokemon Gold, Silver, or Crystal, they would only see that Red Gyarados and they'd be like, oh, that was a fun time. And they would love that game without even knowing that other Shinies existed. But you introduce the fact that there are these Shinies out there and they're super, super rare. And you just add so much more infinite replay value to these games. You can create like your own ways to spend hundreds of hours playing the game looking for these Shinies that... The surely the developers didn't fully intend on people to do, but are fully possible out there. It's so much fun. And Mega Matt, with the super chat, I really appreciate that. No worries whatsoever that you didn't figure out how to increase the amount. That's still huge. Thank you. How long did it take to get that living dex? That whole living dex in Heart Gold was like literally what I dedicated like the first like almost hundred videos to on my channel. Like, way, way, way back in the day. Like, when I was, like, 14 years old. I was trying to finish that whole Living Dex. It was, like, my whole Gotta Catch em All series. It took, like, a year. Mostly because of, like, school and stuff. But it took, like, a year. I also chose to do it from scratch entirely. Like, no prior Pokemon I had. What is the perfect height? Dying to hear my opinion. I have literally never considered that before. <laughs> I don't think there is a perfect height out there. Do I ever go back and watch my own streams just to see all the chats I've missed? I've done that before. Um, not super often though, because I only ever stream on YouTube when I do these kickoff streams. And normally when I stream on Twitch, I don't really miss chats in general over there. Can I do more badge quests? I'm working on a shield badge quest right now. I'm on the fourth hunt of that right now, and that's going to eventually be a video someday. So, yeah, I will work on more badge quests. Who's my favorite Reggie? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite Reggie. I kind of like them all equally. Welcome, Kosh. It's got to be super late over there for you. Welcome. Super late over there in Germany right now. It's got to be like what? Like at least 2 a.m., right? Almost spat out your water when you saw my first video titled 1, Introduction to the Madness with my illuminated face in the thumbnail. Yeah. What a way to start. <laughs> Just me sitting in my dark room with a flashlight pointed at my face being like, Hello, people of YouTube. I'm going to be catching all these Pokemon. <laughs> World's not always easier for short people. There are things that are, that are easier for tall people, too. I've never considered, like, what, what the ideal... Like, who, what, who gets most buffs and who gets the most nerfs? Short people or tall people. There are always those how to talk to short people memes that are always funny. Where people just edit them to look really, really crazy.
You can you unfortunately cannot nickname Pokemon in this game. It would be a fun feature to add, but I have no idea how to add that. I have played D&D &D before. I played a, a little campaign with some friends back in college. Like, uh, we uh, would meet up in my apartment and uh, play probably like once every month or so, my senior year. It was a good time. My name um, was Big Re Detractor, which uh, when, when spoken out in full is Big Green Tractor, like the country song, because I thought it would be a funny name to have. Yeah, exactly, Han. Being tall. You, you hit more chandeliers statistically than short people, but you can reach more things than short people, too. I don't really have a least favorite shiny that I can think of off the top of my head. Or at least not one that stays consistent every time I answer the question. And Caitlin Furlong with the $10 super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes or no to pineapple on pizza. For the longest time, I was a pineapple on pizza skeptic. I, I looked at it and I was like, I, I don't know if I could actually enjoy this. Like, does pineapple really belong here? And then, like, uh, like a couple years ago, back in 2019, I had an anime night with some friends, and uh, we ordered a pizza, and we were like, we, we, the, the, the pineapple topic came up, and we were like, you know what? None of us here have ever actually tried pineapple on pizza before. So what we did was we ordered the, the pizzas and um, got pineapple on one of them, and I think we all enjoyed it. It was, it was pretty good. It's not something that I'd make a regular thing. Like, it's not something that I think has to be on every pizza I ever eat. But it's something that I don't mind. I don't think it's something that I look at and think is grossly out of place. Anymore. Oh, Magic isn't here. What's up? Oh, yeah, I remember your Blastoise. The one that you thought didn't look shiny. Yeah, it's, it's back sprite does look a little bit weird in those uh, Fire Red Leaf Green games. I don't blame you at all for thinking it was normal looking. Grats on that Blastoise, though. Oh yeah, airplanes have got to be awful the taller you get. Because you get less leg room. It's kind of cramped walking around in there. What's my general opinion of Stone Journer? I think it's generally pretty darn epic. And I will not I will, I will not back down on describing it as epic. Even though, like, you know, epic's kind of become a meme word every now and then. But, I don't know, I like Stone Journer a lot. It's cool. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. Almost non-stop talking for like over an hour now. You wouldn't have a shiny Poochiana if you painted your dog red. It would be gold if you wanted a shiny Poochiana. Yeah, still at one shiny right now. But I'm just happy to have found something at all on stream, you know? What's my favorite sitcom? Uh, it's it's not like the most family friendly one out there, but it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It never fails to crack me up. It's classic. So many quotable moments. And the code for Deoxys is 11212020. Not many people say that their favorite region is Unova. You'd be surprised. Um, I think the Gen 5 lovers are out in full force right now. I feel like so many people every single day talk about how like black and white were like the glory days of Pokemon to them. And that wasn't always the case on the internet. We've reached the point in the Pokemon cycle when, when like, those, that's the generation that most people are most fixated on right now. Talking about how cool it was and how they wish it would go back to how it was like that back then. It's happened for every single generation. For a while, it was like that with third gen. For the longest time, we're just getting out of the fourth gen phase as the fourth gen games are getting remade. Now we're getting into the fifth gen phase. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we'd start people being like, man, they really had things down with how they did a lot of stuff in X and Y. Why don't they make it like they did in X and Y back in the day now? So it's only a matter of time. What level am I in Go? Some of y'all are going to be shocked by this, but I'm only level 39. I don't really play Go for experience. I mostly shiny hunt. I don't really catch a lot of things, and I don't say a lot of. I don't do a lot of legendary raids. And Mega Matt, <laughs> you found how to increase the value. Let's go! Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks so much, Mega Matt. Yep. 
Yeah, if you ask me though, like Gen 3 through 5 really are like the golden days of Pokemon. Thanks, Jonathan Bailey. I appreciate that. Hi, Absol. I'm the gibberish guy. I made a new email. I love that name. What's your favorite mythical? Jirachi, hands down. Jirachi's my favorite. Got so many good memories of that thing. And uh, it was the first mythical that I trained all the way to level 100. Because you got it at level 5, so you really got to train it up. I was so pumped to get the Coliseum bonus disc and pre-order it and like have an infinite supply of Jirachi to give to my friends who played Pokemon 2. I was the Jirachi guy. Like... Had a couple friends with Ruby and Sapphire, and they'd, they'd get so excited if I told them that I could give them a Jirachi that was legit. Yeah, I'm a Gen 3-er. I've always been a Gen 3-er. That's my favorite. Would I endorse a campaign for Stonejourner for Smash? I don't believe it would ever happen, but I would, I would not be opposed to see it happen. Yeah, I tend to leave them, the the, poke, the shinies I found in the original games that I caught them in. It wasn't always that way. I used to transfer them, feel, But um, these days, I like to keep the Pokemon in the games I hunt them in because it makes it, it, makes it special to be hunting them again in another game. Like, uh, if I get like a shiny in like Fire Red, for example, I don't feel like demotivated from hunting for that same shiny someday in like Platinum because it's like a totally different hunt. Yeah, the Jirachi movie was also big for me. I got I, I got the DVD for that movie the day I got my tonsils out. And a lot of the recovery time from, from the tonsil surgery in third grade was spent re-watching that Jirachi movie over and over again. How many shinies are we at? Just one right now. Just found a Makuhita earlier on stream. Hoping to maybe get one more before I stop for the night in about an hour. Maybe a little over an hour. Around 9 o'clock my time. What's my opinion on the Ultra Beasts? I, I was weirded out by them at first, not gonna lie, but I really, really like them. Like, I, I know they're kind of polarizing. A lot of people think they they look too weird to be Pokemon, but I think their designs have some really crazy inspiration. Like, Celesteela. It's gotta be one of the most fascinating Pokemon designs out there. It's a giant rocket ship. Also has to do with, like, the tail of the bamboo cutter. Like, part bamboo as well. It's like, it kind of looks like Princess Kaguya and stuff too. It's a very, very cool Pokemon. And I, I enjoyed using them a lot too. Like, one of my main Pokemon that I was using to like train other Pokemon through experience share in Sun was uh, a Buzzwolf. That thing's a machine. I'm a big fan of the Ultra Beast and I gotta hunt the rest of them someday. I don't, you're not the only one, Cinnabox. A lot of people like to watch the Pokemon movies I make to like, as they're like falling asleep. And I don't take offense to that. I don't think they're like videos that like legitimately like put th put people to sleep because they're that boring. I I'm just like glad that people find them relaxing enough to fall asleep too. That's crazy, William Jr. Congrats on the Rayquaza. Yeah, Stack Attack is cool. I've always wanted to go for a Zerka Tree as a Christmas shiny because it reminds me of like a strand of Christmas lights. The Fabled Weekend is indeed back. And yeah, Flew Ford. The, the odds are most likely 180, 192. Do I like MJ TV? I really haven't seen too much of his stuff, nor do I really know him, so I don't really have an opinion. Poke Park, yay or nay? It's a yay for me. I didn't have those games until last year, but uh, I've played a little bit of them so far. Still have yet to finish them. But they're really cool so far. They're almost like a Pokemon action platformer that we never got, you know? I, I was thinking about that, Pinky Purrs. Like, what if I just added a very sudden scream in the movie that wasn't, like, led up to by a shiny reaction or something? Good luck, Taz the Puppy, on the Bills Eevee. Really cool soft reset hunt. 
I've never gone for a shiny Eevee before, believe it or not. That's on the bucket list. Have I watched the fairy tale anime? I tried to watch it. I watched the first episode. I just couldn't get into it. It was too much of a commitment for me because it was really long and stuff. And it just didn't grip me like a lot of other anime did. I'm fully caught up with One Piece because I, I read the manga for it instead of like watching all the episodes. That's probably like the longest running thing that I'm actually caught up with. I tend to like the shorter anime series and stuff because it's not as much of a commitment. Congrats on the big on Dale. That's awesome. That's a sick one. Little green boy. Why stream here instead of Twitch? Welcome, Alfred Dudley, by the way. Yeah, um, for Rumble Weekend, it's just the tradition for me to do the kickoff stream here on YouTube. Maybe one of these days I might end that tradition. I might actually start doing the, the kickoffs on Twitch. But it's kind of convenient for me to be streaming here for, for these because I like archiving these kickoff streams anyway. And they instantly get archived on YouTube afterwards. So, uh, it's just convenient. Good luck, Nate. That's awesome. I did read the new One Piece chapter. I, I'm not going to spoil things at all. Please, no spoilers. But that, that last page was insane. That's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. Have I watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Yes. I've watched everything except for this week's episode that just dropped today. One of my favorite things that I'm following right now, honestly. Like, some of the best animated fight scenes I've seen in years. And they do it every episode. The concept for it's really cool, too. The baseball episode they just released was very funny. With, like, all the taglines for the different characters and stuff. It's got a very likable cast. Yeah, Gintama. That's one of those ones that's just so big. I know it's so good. It has to be. It's always at, like, the top of my anime list. As, like, one of the highest ranked series. But it's just so daunting. There's so much of it out there. Rich, what's up, dude? Yeah, Rumble Weekend. I, I forgot about that whole detail. Like, I, I think I heard about it once years ago, but I, I hadn't heard much confirmation on it ever since until I saw you actually show the piece of code for it in that tweet today. This is a fun fact that uh, Shiny Ghost Hunter Richie showed me on Twitter earlier today when, on, like, uh, my friend Ian's tweet about Pokerus. In the Gen 2 games... You can't get Pokerus until you set foot into Goldenrod City. Which is such a weird, interesting detail. So you can't get Pokerus at all for like the first two badges of the game until you arrive in Goldenrod. Very strange detail. Gotta wonder why they did that. The, the, the good working theory that he had was like, uh, they didn't want to scare any kids who were like really early into the game. Or have their Pokemon become too busted in the early levels. I've watched all of My Hero Academia. I've also read all of it, too. I'm way caught up. And I've watched all of Demon Slayer, except for the new movie that came out. I'm um, going to watch that eventually when it becomes available. And I read all of Demon Slayer all the way to the ending, too. Alejandro. I have not seen GTO. That's on my list, too. It sounds like a very fun watch. That's on the list of things to watch, but I haven't, I haven't watched it yet at all. Looks like a 90s classic, though. Have I played Pokemon Sword and Shield? Never. I have not. I don't have three movies on those games on the channel here. But no, yeah, yeah, I've played through Sword and Shield a lot. <laughs> and, uh... I, I think I prefer Sword to Shield in terms of exclusives and stuff. Shield does have some very cool exclusives, but I like the Sword ones a little bit more for the most part. I, I think I like Zacian more than Zamazenta, too. Space Dandy's up there for me, for sure. I love Space Dandy, but I haven't seen Trigun. I was just, like, listening to the Space Dandy soundtrack earlier this week because my friend Greg was sharing a track from it. Incredible stuff. And Code Geass, that's in my top ten of all time. I rewatched that with some friends last year. Found a couple shinies while doing that, too. Yeah, SpongeBob's a pretty solid anime, too. I don't know how many people have seen that one, though. You have to finish Haikyuu again? Yeah, I haven't read any of Haikyuu, but I'm caught up with what all they've had animated. That was a fun weekly watch this past few seasons. First shiny I ever encountered was a Butterfree in the bug catching contest on gold. And I thought it was an event shiny in-game, like the Red Gyarados, so I just ran from it. Thought it was the pink Butterfree. 
first one I ever caught was a lick of tongue and crystal. How do you catch Pokemon in this game? Do you just make them faint? Yeah. Every time you knock out a Pokemon, you have a small chance of recruiting it. And if it's a sparkling Pokemon, uh, if it has little sparkles around it, it's a guaranteed recruit. And shiny Pokemon are all sparkling Pokemon, too. So shinies are always a guaranteed recruit. If I have a single target or aspiration in this game right now, it's Absol, because I don't have one yet. What's my opinion on Probo Pass? It's got a good mustache. Someone uh, named Probo Pass Propaganda um, commented on my most recent video, giving me all sorts of reasons to grow a mustache. I thought I found that pretty amusing. I thought that was very in character. Do I watch any slice of life animes? I've watched a few. I can't think of ones that that qualify as that off the top of my head, but I, I've seen a lot of stuff over the years, so I've definitely seen a few. Trying to think of what actually qualifies as that. That I've seen. I did watch Tokyo Ghoul back in the day. I didn't watch Re or anything. I kind of think that the series really fell off when I got to like uh, the second season, but it was cool for a while. Like back in my college apartment, we had Tokyo Ghoul nights where all sorts of people came over, including people who definitely don't normally didn't watch anime, and we'd all gather around on the couch and watch the latest Tokyo Ghoul together. It was sick. The legendaries can be shiny in this game. Anything can be shiny in the levels. What reason did I choose Absol as my mascot Pokemon? It's been my favorite since I was a kid. I just thought Absol looked really cool. Didn't really have any good, like, actual lofty, interesting reasons for it. But, um... On my own Windows 95 computer that I had up in my room that wasn't connected to the internet for the longest time. Like, I was using a Windows 95 computer back in 2005 because it was just my parents' leftover one that they let me use to learn how to use a computer. And uh, on that computer, I'd open up Microsoft Word and I'd, I'd pretend I was a webmaster making fake websites. And I went by the name Absol-tastic on there. Like, Absol combined with Fantastic. That was my first username I ever came up with and that's still, like, my tag that I use in Smash and stuff to this day. I eventually joined Cerebi forums with that name. But uh, I've always had like Absol in my username online because of that. And it's been my favorite Pokemon forever. Phalanx, Phalanx might really be becoming my second favorite Pokemon. Grats down to the main Ectric Dale. That's awesome. Attack on Titan. So I, I'm re-watching that with a friend right now. I, I watched up to Season 3, but I haven't finished Season 3 yet. I know the final season's airing right now, so I'm like doing my best to avoid spoilers on it as I watch through again and then watch all of season three. But we're starting from the start because I first watched Attack on Titan back in 2013, and uh, it's been so long that I've forgotten about a lot of it. Yeah, this is a speedy Deoxys in speed form. It does kind of look Volbeat-like from a distance. What's up, Pan Ipantoja? I, I butchered that pronunciation, but I'm doing all right. How about you? Have I watched any of the Fate series? So I watched Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night on Limited Blade Works. I started Apocrypha after that, and I kind of hated it, so I stopped it after like two or three episodes. It just wasn't the same anymore. I, I liked the visuals from the studio that animated like Zero and Stay Night, but anything after that, it just kind of lost its charm for me. It felt very different too, it had very different vibes. My favorite non-Pokemon game, this this almost doesn't count, but uh, <laughs> I like the Smash series a lot. Some of my other favorite games out there, Donkey Kong Country, that's one of my favorite games of all time, the original. Luigi's Mansion, the original. Earthbound, the entire Earthbound series really, like Earthbound like Beginnings and Mother 3. Some of the best games I've ever played. Most of my favorite games ever are just Nintendo games, but I also really like the original Dark Souls a lot, too. How dare you spoil uh, Attack on Titan for me, Horseface? Hop dies? 
That's so rough. After, like, all he did to try and, like, live up to his brother Leon's expectations with his Wooloo. Got eaten by a Titan. You hate to see it. I do watch the Pokemon anime. I had a huge falling off with it back in, like, 4th gen, so... I, I eventually did get around to finishing Diamond and Pearl, but I never watched Black and White, and I slowly caught up on X and Y. But since Sun and Moon now, I've been actually watching it weekly as it airs in Japan. And it's always a good little thing to look forward to every week. I love the Sun and Moon anime, though. Got a lot of criticism at first because of how different it looked, but it was fantastic. Had a lot of love in it. Bloodborne? I've played, like, maybe, like, an hour or two of Bloodborne on a friend's PS4. But I don't own any, like, PlayStations, so I don't really have a good way to play Bloodborne otherwise. It was pretty sick, though. I, I like how you parry things with, like, the pistol. Fought a couple bosses. Do I like Halo? I enjoyed playing a little bit of Halo at a friend's house, but also a very similar scenario. I've only pretty much grown up on Nintendo consoles. My brother had an Xbox, but he was mo mainly the one who played it, so I only ever played, like, the occasional Halo and stuff. Yeah, I played the, the Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. That whole trilogy is awesome on the Super Nintendo. Really great childhood memories of that. I'm always shocked when I see people describe it as like a really hard platformer. Because it was like one of my first games I picked up and it was all I ever knew. So it never felt like impossibly hard for me. And I haven't seen today's episode yet. No. But the time that I normally be watching like this week's episode is as I'm doing this kickoff stream right now. Rumbling. Grats, Dutch. That's awesome. 3 a.m. Yeah, get some sleep. How do I watch it when I airs? I watch it on a very bootleg website. It's just the way you got to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. Go is really cool. I really didn't like, like the vibes of Go at first. I thought like uh, he, he kind of like undermined everything that the the pokemon series had built up over time by like catching like a ton of bug peck pokemon in one episode i was like what the heck this whole anime series was supposed to be all about these people like building these really strong bonds with pokemon and slowly catching them over time and this guy's out here just catching like 30 in an episode that we'll probably never see again but i've been pleasantly surprised by it he's had a lot of character development they've really like gone the extra mile to show as well that like um go does grow to really care about the Pokemon, and uh, I, I've been pleasantly surprised by this season. It wasn't what I expected at first, because I was expecting like an actual Sword and Shield anime, but Journeys has been a good watch, now that I'm this deep into it every week. I was worried. Do I have a favorite Mario Party? Mario Party 7 hits, hits the hardest for me. That's the Mario Party that I actually owned as a kid. It had, like, that awful GameCube microphone attachment that plugged into the memory card slot. But it was fun. Hi, Absol. I'm the gibberish guy. I made a second... Okay, you made a second account. Okay. Incredible. There was someone who got a shiny Arceus in this game. It's crazy. I think multiple people. Speedfest. Yeah, welcome. Very convenient timing for me to be live, right? <laughs> it is Rumble Weekend. Yeah, for real, Chosen Signer. Yeah, like, they need to capitalize on that someday. Like, I don't know, maybe partner with, like, a streaming service like Crunchyroll or something. I, I know they have got, a, a, like, a big deal with Netflix right now. The Pokemon anime has got a huge deal with Netflix, really. So that's the reason we don't see it on things like that. But you don't even have an option to, like, watch in the original Japanese language. You only have the, the, the dub of whatever language you're in. Yeah, the shiny hunter guy. That was such a nice touch. It felt very validating. We exist in the Pokemon world, you know? People who are crazy for shinies. Favorite Pokemon rival? Ooh, that's a, that's a tough one. Let's see. Maybe N, if N counts as a rival. I think it would be really, really cool... If we one day got a rival that had, like, the energy of N, but, like, also the personality of Silver. 
like someone who was like a really confident jerk who had like some really shocking things to say and stuff like i think that could be the coolest pokemon rival we could ever get so my my ideal pokemon rival might not exist yet but uh, i thought n had a really really cool story thank you dk renegade appreciate that and good luck adam on the shiny hunts good luck to anyone who's shiny hunting right now I always got to throw that out there, because I know so many of y'all are also hunting right now. You love that the shiny hunter guy... That's that's a good thing to point out. I didn't realize that either. Mostly community day stuff. That's funny, actually. I did not change their RCS odds. Um, they just sometimes spawn in, like... I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're, it's one of those mysteries of Rumble. I'm not still not a billion... I'm not, no, I'm still not 100% sure how things, like, spawn in. Like, I have a general idea of how the encounter tables work, but there might be some weird, like, technicalities to it. Gladion has a cool story arc, too, yeah. It was weird playing through Let's Go with a super friendly Kanto rival. That just didn't feel right. It did not feel right at all, honestly. I was like, who is this guy? Being polite to us and stuff? Like, who has the audacity to do that when, when you could be Blue or Gary Oak? I do like this game. I, I think I like this game. I think at this point I can finally definitively say that I, I like Pokemon. It, it's been a while for me to decide if I like Pokemon or not, but I think I like Pokemon. Who's my favorite shiny that's not Absol? <laughs> that is a question that I can't give a good definitive answer to. I am awful at picking favorites most of the time. Oh, that's sick, Nate. I'm getting a shiny star V box in the mail tomorrow. And also a super kind viewer sent me like a, a, an elite trainer box for shining fates too. And I'm super pumped to open that too. I'm really hoping to pull a phalanx. And if I don't pull a Phalanx from either of these boxes, I'm going to be buying it as a single online. Because I need that full art shiny Phalanx. And I don't even think it's worth that much either. So I might actually be able to get the single for a pretty reasonable price. Like maybe 15 bucks. I'd be willing to pay that for a shiny Phalanx card. Yo, grats Alexa. That's so cool. Shiny Cubone and Crystal. I bet that looks fantastic. Congrats. Later, Edric Vanguard. Have a good night. Blight Beach. The Masquerain are massive. Massive Quarain. Now that's its name etymology. In case you didn't know, just like Meryl, Marinara Chill. Am I going to open it live? I'm going to open it on video. Not not on stream, but I'll, I'm going to make a video for it. Like my last Shining Fates opening. <laughs> congrats on the sweet coon. Uh, that is not how you spell it, but, but congrats anyway, Speedfest. That's a cool one. You did not win the spelling bee today, unfortunately. You pulled that phalanx today. Oh, that's sick. The boys. The squad. The Macedonian phalanx formation. Any na nature guesses? Are you going to transfer it up to a game that has natures? If you do, I'm going to guess mild. But uh, in Gen 2, there are no natures, you know? Later, Zang. Have a good night. I did get one shiny so far, Bebu. I got a uh, Makuhita. But that's it so far. See if we can pull off another before I end stream in like... Roughly an hour. Good night, Bino. Get some good sleep. And good luck on your hunts. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by.
Team Ellie Diamond? I don't know who Ellie Diamond is, actually. I'm sorry. If you're talking, like, uh, Brilliant Diamond, though, the remakes, I I'm picking Brilliant Diamond as, like, my main game. Grats, Toxic Unity, that's awesome. Enjoy the shiny Trico, that's awesome. I've been there. That that took me a long time to get. Shamrock Shake? I tried a Shamrock Shake for the very first time last week. I'm shocked it's taken me this long to try it. And I think my verdict on it is that it's pretty good. It tastes like toothpaste, but I mean that in a good way. And in the best way possible, it tastes like toothpaste. Like, it made me feel like my teeth were clean after I, I drank it, even though I knew that was factually not true. Do I like Pokemon Rumble or Pokemon Sword and Shield? <laughs> I like both. I don't have to like just one. What's my controller of choice for this game? So for the past few years, for during these Rumble weekends, I use this Wii Remote with like a classic controller hooked up to it. And I believe this is called a Fight Pad. It's um the Samus one. I got it from GameStop for like maybe 15 bucks a few years ago. And it works great. I've had a couple of friends who also use this thing who've had it break on them, but it works awesome. I'd be using a regular GameCube controller if I were on my regular Wii, but since I've always played it on my Wii U, I can't really do that. GameCube would be my, be my controller of choice otherwise. Where do you even get Shamrock Shakes? It's a McDonald's thing during the month of March, typically. For St. Patrick's Day. Mackie D's. I think my first hunt in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl will be Piplup. If uh, it's not shiny locked. It's crazy that I even have to say that about a starter, but after Sword and Shield, anything's possible now. Why was I such a fan of Sword and Shield? But I I don't I don't know. It's it's still got some of that Pokemon magic in there for me. I know I, it's not the most popular opinion. It's not like the most popular game and stuff, but I still got the kind of Pokemon experience that I want to have out of that game. At the end of the day, that that's all that really matters to me. I can't really put my finger on it. It's not like something where I could like just say objectively, "Oh yeah, this is an amazing game." But to me, it was a game that I really enjoyed. Like because Pokemon games are like a, a sandbox. Like, they're a playground for all sorts of things. And Sword and Shield opens up so many possibilities for different things I can do. Like, I love shiny hunting in that game because it has marks for the first time. Like, special ribbons with titles you can find. Like, mark hunting has made me want to come back and shiny hunt in that game so many times. And uh, the DLCs opened up whole new worlds and stuff for that game for me. Like, there's so many different playthroughs I can do of Sword and Shield now, and I've already played through it so many times on different Switch profiles. It's just got that same kind of replayability that I look for in a new Pokemon game. And as long as the game's got that, and, like, maybe some extra weird features out there that you wouldn't expect to normally see in a, in a video game, I'm happy. And strange stuff like Pokemon Camp and Curries and being able to find Pokemon through that still scratch that itch for me. Am I going to stream Smash Bros? Maybe someday. I wouldn't expect it tonight while I'm doing Rumble Weekend and stuff, but uh, I've streamed Smash on Twitch before. I've done viewer battles and stuff. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Rich. I think there are going to be some shiny locks in the game, and I, I can almost guarantee that the odds will be 4096, the modern odds for shinies, instead of... A true faithful 1 in 81, 92 in the originals. But yeah, like, opinions on Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I'm surprised this topic hasn't come up more during the stream tonight, honestly. I, I predicted, like, I would be get asked it at least 30 times. Um, I, I'm interested to see how it pans out. I'm going to have to see another trailer for it. I'm still pretty excited for it either way, because it's still Pokemon. It's still a Sinnoh remake. But uh, what we've seen so far... We haven't seen much of a redesign. We haven't seen much of anything new. 
Everything so far has been like one to one with the original Diamond and Pearl, even down to Don and Lucas's designs and poses. They're like 3D versions of the 2D things. It's almost like a remaster more than it's a remake, which is um, an interesting dynamic. It's not what I'm always expecting from a Pokemon remake, if that makes sense. Because normally they add a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of something different. Like Heart Gold Soul Silver, they added Lyra, they added uh, Follower Pokemon, they had the Always Run button and stuff. But we haven't really seen what the different quality of life changes are in the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl remakes from that first trailer. From the first trailer, there's not much we can go off of there. Other than like the art style, the fact that they're using the same 3D models they've been using since like X and Y. I, I couldn't get too much out of that trailer, except I'm, I'm so pumped to go to the underground and do that online for the first time. I was shocked that the Union Room came back, too. Yeah, uh, yeah. you gotta question how faithful of a remake it will be. Like, is Fairy-type gonna be there? Is it gonna only have the 493 Pokémon from the original and stuff? And at the end of the day, my number one thing on the wish list is wanting to see the Versus Seeker come back. I love that thing. I never did get that Shiny Mythical in home. Still have not done that yet. And thanks for the super chat, Mega Map, by the way. Thanks again. What's up, SGG Riot? How's it going? Another Twitch Twitcher over here on YouTube. What's my favorite legendary Pokemon? My favorite mythical for sure is Jirachi, but it's hard for, harder for me to pinpoint a favorite legendary. Virizion's always had a soft spot for me because it was like the first shiny that I ever tried to hunt through soft resetting. Oh yeah, we got contests again. I forgot about that. That'll be cool. Yeah, I hope that we don't watch a two minute cutscene before checking the starters either. That would be crazy. That would make the resets take a pretty long time. I'm hoping they're like sword and shield length starter resets because if those things weren't shiny locked it would be such an enjoyable hunt for real what's my favorite gen one or two pokemon you see i really don't know how to answer that israel like i'm not sure what my my pure favorite is dunsparce has always been up there as one of my favorite pokemon in general because it's just funny but uh i as i said like a bunch of times already i'm awful at picking favorites so if I don't answer what my favorite is or something, it's because I, I genuinely don't know. Very likely they only showed one-to-one -one first. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. I would love to see uh, something like the Sevi Islands, or just like a new area in general added to the game. Like, Pal Park's going to change. We, can, we know that for sure, because... I mean, th there's no way you can have a dual slot game inserted on your Switch. Like, unless they make it like the park where you bring over Pokemon from Sword and Shield. But I think that's outdated. Pokemon Home will fulfill that purpose. Same goes for, like, the Go Park. I don't think there's any reason to have a Go Park in uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. What I want to see them do is maybe change that into, like, something that leads to a new area. That area south of Sand Gem Town. Have, expand the region that way. That would be so sick. Am I a Pokemon contest fan or a Pokemon contest apologist? I've always enjoyed contests. Like, uh, I, I loved playing them in the third gen games. I wasn't huge on them in fourth gen as much. I didn't play as many in fourth gen. I've never played a contest in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire before either. Which is kind of shocking. I kind of need to do that someday to get that cool special effect on my Pokemon. But in the OG third gen games, I had so much fun trying to get like the artist ribbon on Pokemon and stuff. I remember, like, uh, spending entire car rides to my grandma's house doing contests. I always took quite a bit of setup, though, to get, like, the right berries and stuff that I needed. Yeah, maybe I don't have the right model of Switch. Mine doesn't have that GBA slot in it.
Yeah, the dongle feature from the original games was really, really cool. Going for stuff with the GBA insertion, like the Gengar in the old Chateau is one of my favorite encounters ever. I want to shiny hunt it someday. You can find wild Gengar in just that one room where there are like eyes on the painting on the wall. Unbelievably cool. What was the shiny that I found? It is over there on the layout. It's a Makuhita. Yeah, it's a satisfying feeling to get all that setup done and get a contest going and to destroy them. Like, when you win the contest from the beginning in the appeal phase, that is just, it's so much fun. Just watching the crowd go wild as your Pokemon is just like 600 times smarter than the other Pokemon there from outward appearance alone. It's a good feeling. And I liked trying to win contests in stupid ways too, like entering like a cool contest with a Pokemon that knew like the opposite of cool moves and trying to win that way. Trying to sabotage the other players was also fun with like appeals that would like jam them and stuff, trying to get a another Pokemon to get almost negative score. Contests were fun and I stand by that. Despite me never playing them in the remake, I'm a bad contest fan. My, my favorite DLC was Crown Tundra and Sword and Shield. Blew the Isle of Armor out of the water for me, honestly. What point in the stream did I find the shiny? It was pretty early on. I want to say it was in within the first 30 minutes or so. No problem. Uh, hi, Absol. I'm the gibberish guy. I made a second email. Understandable if you weren't able to make a third account today. Just impressed that you made a second one, you know? We meet again. What's up, Aharin? Or uh, Magnetomon? Welcome. Yeah, getting into a contest without a move of the appropriate type. I love it. It's like, uh, you know, showing up to, uh, to, a, to a gunfight with a knife. Or like even something crazier, like a toaster. Except it's a Pokemon contest and it's not nearly as hostile as that. He, him, Neo Arrow. When was the first shiny? It was probably within the first hour at some point. Henry the Cat, what up? How's it going? Can't believe Joe Bookmark is streaming. Yeah, for real. In the flesh. How crazy of a different world would it be if I was named Joe Bookmark in real life? That'd be nuts. Having the middle name Bookmark would be so cool. I feel like my username would have to implement that in some way, right? That's too unique of a, a middle name not to use in your username. You love fighting with toasters, yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, try not to spam Miles. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Pal Park. I'm just hoping and hoping and hoping that they don't change up the Great Marsh too much. The last thing I want to see is what they did in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and take away the Safari game from it entirely and just make it a regular route. I would hate that. But uh, we, we have not Game Freak working on it right now. Just Ilka, supervised by Masuda. So it might still happen with Masuda's supervision that they do that. But um, I have hopes that they don't change the Great March, you know? Thing needs to stay a Safari game. 
It would be the first game since uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver that could genuinely be added to the spirit of Safari Week, you know? I guess Let's Go almost kind of counts because every Pokemon has a chance of fleeing. But uh, the first game with, like, a you know, a Safari game. I wouldn't mind seeing the Friend Safari come back. That was such a fun feature in X and Y. I, I enjoyed that a lot back in the day. Yeah, if they, like, made it easier to move around in there, that would be nice. Because getting trapped in the mud pit, while it's funny and stuff, it's really annoying when you're trying to run around there getting encounters. That's where I'm going to be this Safari Week, though. <laughs> Joe Bookrack. I'm trapped. No, I'm not trapped. Favorite Safari Zone to hunt in. Heart Gold Soul Silver's got like infinite possibilities. I don't know if it's my favorite though. I think Classic Kanto is my favorite Safari Zone to hunt in. Just because, like, you know, that's the original spirit of Safari Week for me. That's where, I, where I've done the most time. Aside from like all the time that I spent hunting like Hoenn for Girafferig. Um, Kanto Safari's just got something special. The, the, the idea of finding and encountering and keeping a shiny Chansey keeps me going back every year. How do you play Rumble? Uh, you just run through the levels until you find shinies. That's all there is to it. And to get the game, uh, there's no actual way to purchase this game anymore because it was a download-only game. So you'll have to like either emulate it or install it on your Wii with Homebrew. Uncatchable Week's coming up on the 27th. Safari Week is coming out in June. That's when it's going to be. Sorry to hear that hat stand. Zangoose is sick. I thought the Legend starters were really interesting. Like, uh... <laughs> someone's reaction to it. I think it might have been Dallas's where he's like, What is this, a randomizer? That, that's pretty much what I thought when I saw it too. It was like, what on earth am I looking at? But they're really interesting choices. They really are. I, I, I think they're all kind of fan favorites in a way. I think I'm going to go with Cyndaquil. Bunch of Houndour, bunch of Electric, Electric Tricycles. That's the uh, name etymology for uh, Electric. And Main Electric is Man Electric, named after an electric man. Oh, I'm sorry, Bino Mix. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those self-destructing Voltorb and Electrode. You're surprised they went with actual starters and not like random on something like Colosseum. Yeah, it's pretty fascinating. I, I'm not sure what's going to be more interesting. Seeing the next Brilliant Diamond trailer or seeing the next Legends trailer. Like, both of them have their own very interesting implications for it. Like, I'm expecting to, like, just see some more interesting stuff with the next Brilliant Diamond trailer. Just, like, I constantly have that expectation to see something kind of new, you know? And uh, with Legends, I have no idea what to expect. So every time I see it, it's just going to be crazy. Guaranteed. What's up, Melanie? Welcome. Thank you for the congrats on the first shiny. We still got a solid 30 minutes left in the stream, so you're not here too late. We could pop off with another. We could pop off with a few more shinies, honestly. Later, hat stand. Have a good one. Which starter should I pick for Gen 3? Torchic. I could see uh, Legends having shinies in it. Yeah. Who's my favorite gym leader? Ooh, uh... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I don't have good answers to these questions. These hard-hitting Pokemon questions. And my Twitch is Absaltastic. Like, Absol fantastic. A-B-S-O-L-T-A-S-T-I-C. I did play Animal Crossing. I've been playing Animal Crossing since the GameCube. Since, like, uh, 2005 was when I got, like, the first one. And then I got Wild World and every other game on release since then. So I I've played a good bit of New Horizons, too. I haven't been keeping up with it, but I've been, like, ordering some of the Mario, like, furniture and stuff. I thought that was one of the main things the game was missing for the longest time. Like, I was upset we didn't have, like, those classic Nintendo tie-in items, because that's always how I decorated my house a little bit. Thanks, kind of milky. It's <laughs> just what happens when I don't cut my hair for, like, a year. Whitney's a classic. With her rolling cow. Claire is also really cool. Johto had some cool leaders. I was always a fan of Claire. Do I like the character sprites in Brilliant Diamond? I think they look kind of weird under the lighting right now. But, uh... I think that maybe in the final product they'll look a lot better. What's up, Bagunga? Welcome. Glad you were able to catch the Rumble stream. See if we can find at least one more shiny before I go in like 30 minutes. What's my favorite? Pokeball. Uh, Safari Ball. Because I like Safari Zone in general. And now in Sword and Shield, Safari Ball is like one of the coolest balls too. Because like, you have a very low chance of getting it from the cram o -Matic, So it's like pretty elusive. So Safari Ball for sure. What would I do if Disney owned Pokemon? Uh, I'd have to be tr treading on very thin copyright law all the time. Because Disney, they're crazy about their intellectual property. It's nuts, actually. I'm glad that they don't at the moment. Yeah, right now the hair experiment is continuing. One of these days I'll probably get it cut again. But just, just letting it grow right now. Bruce, what's up, my dude? I'm glad you were able to make it out here. How's it going tonight? You once one hit KO'd and win. Nice, Rich. That's awesome. Yeah, Fury Cutter is a force to be reckoned with in Gen 2. It really is. It's such a strong move if you use it in, in succession like that. Claire, Clara, Gloom, Gumi, Corsola. You're getting somewhere, Unknown Umbrella. <laughs> I don't know where exactly you're getting, but you're getting somewhere. Ball fetch Yamper, yeah. A true hero. Unsung hero of the Gala region is Ball fetch Yamper. Do we need to... Yeah, let's talk about taxes again. So we can see if we can get a shiny... There's not much I can say about taxes, really. I, I, I can't imagine having a tax stream. I'm not like a CPA or anything. I think that's the abbreviation for someone who works with taxes. Or that might just be a general account or something. I don't know. I'm... Not a finances expert. I don't know if ball fetch works in raids. I don't think it does. I don't think it has the time to activate with that turn. Yeah, I'm pre-ordering uh, the Sinnoh games for sure. I heard you can already pre-order them at GameStop. Like, you can even, I think, pre-order Legends Arceus, which is really crazy. So I, I might just go ahead and pay those off in full in a little while, so I don't even have to think about paying for them for months. Then show up and grab them day one. New Snap is, is looking pretty promising. It looks like a definite buy for me. But uh, I'd maybe wait a little bit if you're on the fence about it, see how other people like it if, you don't, if you're not sure. Just an accountant, gotcha. Sounds good, Ugg Slander. Enjoy the Crown Tundra movie. That's a sparkling normal draft rig. Yeah, Disney is too powerful with that copyright stuff, for real. They don't want Mickey in the public domain and stuff. I love how people were trying to like own those t-shirt bots for a while. Um, cause like, 
there were the, there were these t-shirt bots on twitter that would like uh respond to tweets where people said oh i want this on a t-shirt and they take whatever art the artist had there and make like a t-shirt and put, host it on a website where people could buy it which wasn't cool to the original artist at all in fact it was very illegal honestly so um people would start like making all of these images that like clearly violated copyright and like there was one that was like hi i'm i'm mickey mouse and i i smell like eggs and uh this shirt violates copyright law and we will pay all royal all like uh legal fees or whatever and uh, these t-shirt bots started to pick them up and you started to see those t-shirt t-shirt bots start to go down after that it was such a great like way to beat that system that being said, those t-shirt bots are still around. So don't go around responding to people's art with stuff like, I want to see that on a t-shirt in public on, on Twitter. And Rulo with the super chat. Appreciate that. Good luck on this. Well, congrats on the pseudo Wudo. Actually, that's awesome. Good luck on Giraffe Rig. Fantastic targets, if you ask me. Those are great ones. Yeah, you're, I, I like the ones that just said copyright infringement, too. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming on Sunday during the day. Good evening, Lucario Blue. We are rumbling. Oh yeah, that's going to be interesting. See how that pans out, Beepo. Might actually get some regulation on those things. Who knows? I appreciate the kind gesture, Jonathan, but I, I don't accept shinies from other people. When it comes to shinies, I kind of like... I, I'm all in it for the hunt, you know? Finding it my, for myself. So you can probably make someone a lot happier with that shiny. I appreciate the kind gesture, though. Yeah, the DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, is super outdated. And uh, it just does not account for so many things in the right way. Kind of a garbage law in general. Skyform Shaman is really cool, Erica. It's an awesome one. Yeah, there are definitely tutorials out there. If you look for the right spot, Squid Ant. I'm not going to be streaming all weekend. I'll be hunting all weekend, but I'm going to do a good bit of hunting offline. But uh, I'll be live again on Twitch on Sunday. No more shinies yet, Brennan. Yeah, exactly, Rich. The thrill of the hunt. That's what it's all about. I do not know what Suicune translates to in Google Translate. That's a good question, Bruce. If they want to be 100% true to the original Diamond and Pearl, they wouldn't shiny lock the Starly. But I could see them shiny locking the Starly. Like, uh, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, in original Diamond and Pearl, whenever you get attacked by the Starly and choose your starter, that Starly can be shiny. And they fixed that in Platinum. So in Platinum, um, well, it's a rival battle anyway, so you don't have a chance of running into a shiny there anyway. But uh, yeah, if you want to hunt it without the chance of an uncatchable, you hunt it in Platinum. But in Diamond and Pearl, you always have a chance of that uncatchable Starly there. And please stop spamming gibberish, guy. Social Turtle Man with the super chat. Once more, I will only be sending Shiny Murkrow luck. I appreciate that. Thank you for the Shiny Murkrow luck specifically. I hope it pays off. I hope it doesn't pay off too much, though. I would hate to, like, get 10 Shiny Murkrow and not much else. <laughs> That would, that would honestly be a kind of disappointing Rumble weekend with the variety of Pokemon you can normally find. I'd be kind of impressed with how many Murkrow I'd find at that point, though. It's got to be some crazy luck. Can you give us a Frankie Super? I, I don't know. It, imitating the Frankie voice is hard. Super! Something like that. <laughs> but you, you also have to do, like, the his whole pose. 
Super! <laughs> there we go. If y'all have no idea what I'm talking about, watch One Piece. Do I think Twin Leaf Town will have snow? I don't think it will. Because uh, everything so far has been consistent with the diamond and pearl designs, except that the Gracidia Flower Girl is there in Floaroma Town for uh, Sky Shaman. Aside from that, if you look at the tiles in the city, in Jubilife City, it matches up with the original tile set used in Diamond and Pearl. And they changed the tiles in the city in uh, Platinum to a different color. So, yeah. Hortensia Heracross, what's up? I thought you told me that uh, I could keep the cards. After you paid that $16,000. <laughs> I think the Haunter will still have the Everstone. I'm sure. Void glitching in BDSP. Yeah, that, if they want a truly faithful remake, they'll include the Void glitch. And, like, uh, you could also, like, I wonder, like, if they want to go even further, in the original copy of Diamond and Pearl in Japan, you could surf in the Elite Four to get into the Void 2. They fixed that in the international versions and in future versions of the game, though, so I'm sure that's not something that they would intentionally add back in the remake. Can you explain Rumble Weekend to me, please? So, there's this video game right here, Pokemon Rumble. And you can find shinies in it, and Rumble Weekend is all just about just hunting in this game, finding as many shinies as you possibly can within the span of the weekend. It happens maybe a few times a year. And if you find a shiny in this game, share it with the hashtag Rumble Weekend on whatever social media you use, and people usually show up to it. It's a fun time just to be rumbling with everyone, because you never know what you're going to find. Yeah, Manaphy will be an interesting one. It'd be kind of cool if they made an, their own unique event for it, like... The craziest thing I could see them doing is, what if they added Dive Back, and you went, like, deep undersea to find it, or something, in, like, a new place? That would be beautiful. Yeah, it, it does kind of remind me of Fire Leaf Green a little bit. Can't wait to Void Glitch into Legends Arceus. I'm feeling like there's going to be a tie-in between the two games at some point. I would not be shocked. Like, you're going to time travel at some point as, like, a bonus feature. Or uh, you connect with the games. Like, if it detects that you have Legends Arceus installed on your Switch, maybe you get the Azure Flute and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I could see the games being interconnected in some way like that. Because, I mean, in Sword and Shield, they had a slight bit of Let's Go connectivity where you could get the Gigantamax Pikachu or Eevee if you had a Let's Go save file as a gift. They're going to at least do something like that. It might not be in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but in a uh, Legends Arceus, maybe if you have save file from that, there could be hints at your file or something. Listen to this. this. This could be the coolest thing that they do. Whatever Switch profile you're using, if you have a Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl save file on that same Switch profile, they change some of the dialogue and text in that game to reflect what the future you would be like or something. Or you get you visit the future eventually and meet like... Your, your, like, distant, not ancestor, I guess, like, distant relative further down the line with that same name as your file. That would be so cool. I don't know if we're going to see that happen, but I could see them being interconnected in some way. Isaac Craft, please do not spam. This is not the time to type out the entire alphabet. It's Rumble Weekend. It's not Alphabet Weekend. Fire Bison, what's up? How's it going? How do you think you're going to get Arceus in the new game? That's a good question. I, I really don't know how they're going to tie that in. Because, like, they showed us a lot of gameplay, and then they showed us the cinematic of Arceus just looking triumphant. It almost looked like a... TCG animatic that they make for a new set. So I have no idea. 
And written laugh with the $5 super chat. Hit the dab, as the kids say. Okay. There we go. I hope that was adequate. Maybe it will summon Shiny for us. What Shiny did I get? I got a Makuhita. It's at the bottom of the layout. Shout out to George Martindale. He asked for a shout out. No idea who George Martindale is, but shout out. <laughs> Welcome, George. I'm sorry if that sounded mean. It almost did. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I did the thing. I would love a dab shiny. What's a good shiny to go for in heart gold? If, if you haven't started the game yet, the starter hunt is one of the best shiny hunts out there. You see all three starters at once every reset and you have no idea which one you're gonna get. It's pretty thrilling and it's a great like starter hunt in general. How do I get the Deoxys? There's a password. If you're in um, the November update of Rumble Weekend Edition, you can use the password 1121-2020 to get a speed form Deoxys that's speedy with agility and sky attack. This thing's a beast. It runs through levels like a breeze. You'll be finding shinies in no time. Yeah, I can see Fantina being the fifth dream leader again. That's pretty much guaranteed. It would be so cool to transfer, like, Rumble Shinies into a home. That would be crazy. They'd only have, like, two moves, but... Would still be sick to see that kind of conversion happen. You cannot transfer these games into a main game. The only kind of transferring you can do with Rumble Shinies is that you can store them on your Wii Remote and move them between Rumble files. How many mods do you see per Rumble level? I'd say somewhere from like 80 to 100 something every single run. I'm not playing on an emulator, by the way. I'm on my actual Wii U. It's a modded Wii U, so I was able to install the mod on there this way. But playing on an actual console with a real Wii remote and controller hooked up to it. Oh, that would be so cool, Chosen Signer. If like, uh, if they like retroactively made it so Fantina's from Kalos. Because she always did have like that French thing going on. That would be sick, actually. Yeah, I hope you can pol polish your badges, too. I've been speculating how the Poketch is going to work, since we don't have, like, a touchscreen or anything on the Switch. I think they might pull an Animal Crossing and, like, tie in the Nintendo Switch app for it somehow. Where, like, you download an app on your phone or maybe even for your smartwatch that has some Poketch features on it. I think that could be kind of cool. But it would also kind of be limiting for kids, because I don't think every kid out there these days as like their own smartphone or something to use. I, it would be nice to keep it within the confines of the Switch, but it, it's certainly an innovative idea that I could see them doing for the Poketch. What's up, Onim Boy? You never played the original Gen 4 game, so you're excited for the remakes. Oh, that, you're in for a treat then. An alphabet weekend? If I did that, I'd be hunting the unknown or something. <laughs> Good night, Whoopi Hunter. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. The Switch has a touchscreen, but not always. Like, uh, there are very limited touchscreen controls on it. Only if you're playing portable does it have, like, touch controls and stuff. And there have been a few games that have addressed that. Like, uh, Super Mario 3D World has a special cursor that you put on screen for touch controls and stuff. Things that you normally control with touch. But, um... In most cases, they don't, like, make too many touch-exclusive things on the Switch. One of the only ones I can think about is uh, styling your Pikachu or Eevee's hair in Let's Go. That's a that's a handheld exclusive thing that you have to do with your fingers, and it's actually really hard to get some hairstyles with certain gestures you have to make.
Nice, Splemus. That's awesome. That's You're on a roll. What's up, Mysterious Plum? How's it going? I don't know if we're going to see the, the Distortion World, honestly. Like, usually with these Pokemon remakes, they, they don't include the stuff from the third version of it. Like, Oris didn't have much Emerald stuff in it. Um, Fire Red Leaf Green didn't have much Yellow stuff in it. So, I, I, I think we're probably not going to see too much uh, Platinum stuff in these Diamond and Pearl remakes. Hard Gold Soul Silver did consider did add like a considerable amount of crystal stuff though, like making Suicune a static encounter instead of a roamer and other things. So who knows at the end of the day? Gonna be interesting. Thank you, Shadow Phoenix. Appreciate the luck. I, I need it at this point. I think everyone needs it. Actually, I don't really need the luck that badly. I have already found one shiny. Can't really ask for too many more within the span of three hours. But it would be nice to get another one before ending the stream for the night, you know? Shiny odds are most likely 1 in 81, 92 in this game. What's up, C. Becker? How's it going? You found a new broken texture? Dude, what is it? Tell me right now. That is exciting. Is it? Is it an unexpected one? Oh, you gotta tell me which one this is. We'll tell you on okay, sounds good. I will eagerly await hearing which one it is. Is it Metatite? I know Metatite's eyes have some really weird stuff going on that I haven't fixed yet. Like normal Metatite, like its eyes are bugging out when you look at it on the screen. I already answered that earlier. I've seen you typing that over and over again. How do you think you're going to get Arceus in the new Arceus game? And I really don't know. They have not shown like a good way of how Arceus even ties into the story yet. They showed gameplay footage and then they showed Arceus. So they've intentionally not included the way that the things are linked together with that. So we're we're I'm kind of in the dark on that. I don't have a good answer. I don't know. I don't have an idea of how I think they're going to do it yet. The suspense is killing me. To know which one's broken. What's up, Irish Ninja? All good. Thanks for stopping by. If you really are Irish, I understand how, how late it is for you. Grats, Aiden. That's awesome. Dragonite is so cool. That entire line's got great shinies. Back from DC. Nice, bro, Sidon. Getting, get, getting back on the rumble. I see. Good luck, dude. Hope you had a good time. When was the last time I got a haircut? Last January. So it's been a minute. Good night, GGGFFF. GGGFF. Still nothing after Makuhita. Nope. I've been slightly droughting. I wouldn't really call it a drought, though. I feel like a real rumble drought is when you pass the three-hour mark. Better question, how would I be getting shiny Arceus and rumble weekend this weekend? Think. That would be insane. It's a pretty rare spawn, but it can show up. So, I think with a lot of luck, I could maybe find it. But <laughs> it would be an insane one for sure. Oh yeah, I think you showed me that, Sir Iron, actually. I saw that one. Shedinja is a little bit broken, too. It's kind of like got a little bit of a, a suntan thing going on. Tan lines. You're Barboach Ganda, right? <laughs> I was showing everyone the glory of uh, Rumble Barboach earlier in the stream tonight.
yeah i've had my hair like really short all my life so this is like the first time i've ever like grown it out in a way shiny will appear in the next place we'll see what happens let's see if that's true i think we're not too far from uh doing one final lap How many generations are in Rumble Weekend? The first through fourth gen Pokemon. And uh, no, they don't mismatch. The only legendaries that randomly spawn in the original base game are the Lake Spirits, Uxies, Mesprit, and Azelf in EX mode. And this one I added a lot more random legendaries that spawn in every now and then. Thanks you, but thank you, Beb. Why are there seven dislikes? Uh, because that's just how it is. Those are like, that's the council of the seven dislikers. They've been plotting my demise for years. It's a long, long story. I'm always watching out for the council. Do I prefer having long hair over short hair? Honestly, most of the time, I'm not even really thinking about it. Short hair is a lot easier maintenance, but sometimes it's fun just kind of like... I don't know, just having that long hair. <laughs> I don't really feel different either way. Sometimes I just look in the mirror and I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't got a haircut in a while. And that's, that's all I really ever think of it. No problem, Rich. Glad to see you here. And I hope you get your Ghastly this weekend, if that's still your main target. That's a great one to go for. I'm sure you can find one. There's actually eight now? Oh no. <laughs> Another person has joined the Dark Council. I'm doomed. Now there's ten. Yeah, anytime we start talking about dislikes, the, the real hidden council members come out of the woodwork. Imagine Matt finds all three Reggies before Matt. <laughs> that would be that would be a flex. It's gonna be interesting to see if Dallas can pull off uh, finding Reggie Rock before he hits a hundred thousand resets total for that. Grats, CB. That's awesome. Grats on the ponytail. That's sick. Ghastly's always your target? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I saw you use, like, Ace or to, like, go for a, a roaming Ghastly someday. I, I would not be the least bit shocked to see you do that. Always gotta watch out for the Fortress. Fortress has a messed up uh, model in this game still. Yeah, don't mess with the Shiny Hunting Council. For real. He did get the Reg Ice, yeah, the Reggie Ice. However you choose to pronounce it. I prefer Reggie Ice, but I sometimes say Reg Ice because it's more socially acceptable. Because sometimes you get called out whenever people find shiny Reggie Ice for saying Reggie Ice specifically. Nice, Erica. Serene Grace is so much fun. That's one of my favorite things about Dunsparce. I loved running like Dunsparce with all the fangs back in 4th gen. Grass Jay Walker, Noctowl is an awesome one. I bet you feel like Ash Ketchum right now. <laughs> and Jackie, I wish. Going to Toys R Us and getting event Pokemon. Classic. How many shinies do I think I'll have by the end of the weekend? I think a very safe estimate is 15. That, I'm usually somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, the Reggie Ice reaction was crazy. Why do I have 547 in my title? Because I number my videos. I've been numbering my videos since I started making videos like 11 years ago. I think the 11 year anniversary of this channel is coming up very soon. And uh, 
I've been uh, making, I've just been numbering them since the beginning. Because the original channel that I was inspired in the first place to start making videos, um, Pokemon blogger Zelgarath, he numbered all of his videos back in the day. Always had like Pokemon video number one or something in it. So I decided to start numbering my videos too. And I just kept up with it for all these years. Like, I realize it's a pretty confusing thing. Might not be the best thing always for the YouTube algorithm or whatever. But screw the YouTube algorithm if my numbers don't... If the number video numbering system is what keeps me from doing well. Because uh, I'm numbering the videos anyway. It's not the reason I make videos in the first place most of the time. Just pronounce it Regina. There we go. Regina Ice. When I was hunting Reggie Rock, I said Reginald Rock way way too many times. So Viper's name uh, comes from the Sevy Islands and Piper. It, it plays the flute, and it's originally from the Sevy Islands. That's another Pokemon fact. Thank you, Jackson. Appreciate that. I'll find a shiny in the next 10 years. That's a bold prediction, you boy. Very, very bold prediction. I think you're right, though. It's like saying Rat is short for Rathew. It's like saying Zubat is short for Zubathew. Rotom is short for Rotomus. Imagine if I got a second Makuhita. What made me love Absol? It just looked really cool. It was a rare spawn and in, in third gen. It always seemed to have some significance. Like it, it felt like almost like a legendary in some ways. Like it's the only non-legendary Pokemon that's like on the cover of Pokemon Box. And like it also had a pretty big role in the Jirachi movie. And I just always looked at Absol as just a super cool Pokemon. I, and it, I, I just really liked it a lot. And then I went on Cerebi.net for the first time, like 2006. I saw it's shiny, and it was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen. And I was like, Absol is the coolest Pokemon, hands down. And uh, I named my username after it when I was 10, and it's just been that way ever since. Don't really have great reasons otherwise, but it's just my favorite. Yeah, the Deoxys does need a raise. It's so good. It's so fast. It's breaking all sorts of records right now. It might not be meeting uh, regulations, though, because it's floating. It might be disqualified from any sort of world record. Ro Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, that would be scary. A, a train possessed by a Rotom, though? Thing would be chaotic. What box cover it is on? Pokemon Box. Like, literally the game called Pokemon Box, Ruby and Sapphire. The storage utility for the GameCube. Yeah, still no second shiny yet, Fuzzy. And Tavia. I got a, a Makuhita earlier. So just one so far. That's so awesome, Stefano. Congrats. Shiny Antique Sinistee. That's the dream right there. That is so rare. That would be so cool to get. Most difficult Smash character to play as or against. Oh, that's a tough one in Ultimate. To play as, to me, it's the Ice Climbers. I, I'm really bad at the desync combos and stuff, and they're just so technical. And I feel like they're awful to play as online, too. They don't really benefit from Wi-Fi much. So... I think the Ice Climbers might be the hardest character to play as in Ultimate, at least from my perspective. For for me personally. And the hardest character to play against... Um, 
I think it's got to be Samus, but in like input lag online on a bad connection. All borderline impossible sometimes. <laughs> They started selling out of the Pokemon Happy Meals here. That's a bummer. I haven't been back to McDonald's to try and get one in a while, but I know my mom texted me out of the blue a couple days ago saying that she went to go get some McDonald's and remember they had the Pokemon stuff and got one for me, and I was like, thanks so much. So, uh, I got another pack of cards next time I decide to go visit back home. Thank you, Parker. Thank you for the blessing. Ooh, good luck, Tavia. Lucario is sick. That'd be an awesome one to see. Who's my Digimon Rumble Arena main? I still have yet to play Digimon, unfortunately, Catface. That is something that uh, I need to do someday. I was talking about this a little bit earlier on stream. I've never played a Digimon game. I've always been a Digimon enjoyer from, like, the anime and stuff. But uh haven't played any of the games yet, and I've heard they're pretty darn good. So that's something I'll have to check out sometime. It's uh, 9 o'clock where I'm at right now. We're probably going to be putting things to a close pretty soon. I'm going to do this lap through Eternal Tower. And then we're going to do one more lap to see if we can get a shiny after that. So we're going to be running through every stage again one more time after uh, this upcoming run. How do I feel about Absol's Mega? I think it's pretty cool. Talked about this a little bit earlier in the night, but uh, it was revealed on my birthday. Believe it or not. On my birthday, August 8th, 2013, they revealed uh, Mega Absol. One of the coolest birthday presents I've ever unintentionally received. Favorite Pokemon Cry? Cricketune's up there. Cricketune's like a classic. It's a good one. I also like Graplocked. Graplocked is a sleeper. Um, best Pokemon cry. Because it sounds like someone muttering under their voice, I smell cheese. Go listen to Graplocked's cry right now if you don't believe me. You will be able to hear the words, I smell cheese in there. I guarantee you. It's like, I smell cheese. I am working on quite a few videos right now. I've got the full version of the gauntlet that was in the Crown Tundra movie. That's probably the next one I'm going to post. I've got a gauntlet that I'm going to be posting next month that I started on a couple days ago. And I have a gauntlet that I'll be doing on stream on Twitch in the future, in the 6th gen games. And I think it's going to be a pretty cool and interesting one. So I've got a lot of stuff in the works right now. Plus I have a, quite a few shinies that I need to upload still. So many to upload. I gotta upload a clay doll that I got last October. I gotta like upload uh, my Reggie Rock that I got in Ruby. Something is like nearly crashing the game with the moves that it's using. Okay, um, and my shield badge quest I'm working on right now. What's up, Gyarados422? How's it going? I think that Absol's the only unintended birthday present. <laughs> You've always heard, give him the claw, when hearing Crawdon's cry. I could see it. I could, I could maybe hear that in it. Yeah, Graplocked. I'm glad to have changed some of y'all's lives tonight with that Graplocked knowledge. It's quite the cry now, isn't it? Thanks, Rich. I appreciate that. They're some of my favorite things to work on. I love doing those gauntlets. They just take a while. It's funny seeing, like, what some people think my channel is, though, because of that. Like, I've seen people, uh... One comment that I actually received on my raid gauntlet from someone was, Dude, you're copying videos from the guy Level 100 Gauntlet. Like, they thought my channel was just called Level 100 Gauntlet. And that's all I did. And that this Absol guy was, like, stealing the videos from him. That's, like, probably one of the most mind-boggling comments I've ever received. See, it does sound like it's saying, I smell cheese. I'm not crazy. Graplock smells it.
Brazilian cheese. All the way from Brazil. Thanks, Jackson. Appreciate that. Jackson underscore. Thanks, Melanie. I do like the Dorito 3Ds. They've been hard to find. I haven't been able to find the Cool Ranch one yet, but I had the Nacho one. That was A+. plus. It was so good. I'm a big fan of 3D Doritos. I just wish they were more common in stores. Like, every time I've gone and got a bag, I got the last bag that was in stock. I don't know if they're just, like, giving them, like, three bags off the Frito-Lay truck or what. Or if they're just really flying off the shelves that much. What's my worst shiny fail? Hands down, my Caterpie and Crystal. That is the worst shiny fail that I've ever done, and I don't know if I'll ever live it down. If you're not familiar with that video, I, I hunted a Caterpie on Crystal to try and reclaim the Butterfree that I failed as a kid. So it was a fail of a reclaim. So it was like a double whammy. And I went into that, that video, I went into that hunt on a file that had seven great balls, and that was it. And in those seven great balls, I did not catch the shiny Caterpie, and I had to run from it. It was like the dumbest shiny fail of my entire life. But the Reggie Rock video that I'm about to upload has a fail in it that I also think is equally as uh, dumb. So look forward to that. <laughs> There's a whole copy pasta that came out of that Reggie Rock fail from, from a response to that on Twitter. And that, that's how good it was. I have played Minecraft. Uh, my, my peak Minecraft days were back in like 2012 with my brother on Xbox 360. I haven't played much Minecraft since. Like Every time I've tried to get back into it, it's overwhelming for me because they've added so much. And I just haven't put forth the time to learn all the new stuff they added to Minecraft since then. I'm like a Minecraft boomer in that sense. So I kind of just keep a distance from it, honestly. There's too much Pokemon stuff for me to do to pl be playing Minecraft. But I had a great time with it back when I played it a lot. I would not eat a gray Dorito if there was one in the bag. <laughs> like shiny Slugma. What, what an image just popped into my head. A gray Dorito. I'd be scared. Sorry to spoil that video. It's still so much fun to watch in accent action. Like, you need to go into that Caterpie video and just watch watch that video to see for yourself. And by the way, this is our last run of each level. So this is our last run of Silent Forest. Then we're going to go through the other five levels and end the stream for the night. So let's see if we can pop off with one more shiny. There's Pixelmon. I tried Pixelmon once and I couldn't get into it. Which is kind of a bummer because that's almost what Legends Arceus looks like. But... I just wasn't as big of a fan of Pixelmon. One of my favorite albums out there is uh, Endless Fantasy by Anna Gucci. It's like a, a chiptune album from back in like 2013. They sent a, a piece of pizza to space for the music video. For, for the main song on the album. And I can just listen to that any day. I, I listen to it so much while doing work. It's classic. The legendaries at the end can be shiny. Yeah, all these boss Pokemon can be shiny. I found a shiny boss Hippowdon once and a shiny boss Vesequin once. And if you dig around in the uh, Rumble videos on my channel, you can find them. It's a great album. Glad y'all agree. Joshua, what's up? Welcome. Caught me towards the end of the stream right now, but uh, glad to see you here. Sounds good, Rich. As usual, I'll be uploading a compilation of all my shinies at the end of the weekend. And I'll be live again on Sunday, probably, on Twitch during the day for a little bit. There we go. Owen, 
with the uh, coffee pasta for the Reggie Reggie Rock that I failed. That was a response to my Reggie Rock fail on Twitter. It was brutal. It's something I'll never forget. I'm a Hoenn boy too, Top Hat Cat. It's my favorite region. Third gen for life. Good luck, Sizzlin'. Yeah, looking for that Munchlax in the honey trees. That's no joke. That's probably going to be just as crazy in the remakes, too. Good luck to you for, on that. The good news is it becomes a pretty relaxing soft reset once you finally find that um, Munchlax. But just finding that Munchlax itself is such a chore. What's the hardest level 100 gauntlet I did? Ooh, maybe the shiny one. Because uh, I had to pay so much attention to like entering those wormholes and stuff. It wasn't really that bad. But uh, I, I had so much concentrated attention that I had to pay to the game while doing that. Like, I couldn't just be looking away, doing something else. I had to be focusing on that wormhole minigame in order to perform well and actually find the shinies. So that, that was a weird change of pace a lot of the time. Yeah, TTB or, like, the crying face with thumbs up. That's a great one. I'm probably butchering the, the way this is pronounced, but uh, the, the Eric Sadi's Gymnopedies... Um, I, I pronounce that horribly. There's a cover of that on the album too, with, but like with chip tune noises. And it's so relaxing every time I listen to it. Lowest encounter shiny I've ever found was um, a Swinub in Fire Red. 16 encounters. That's all it took. It was so fast. Oh, oops. I accidentally entered Bright Beach again. I guess we're doing another beach run. You thought Pokemon Camp would be the hardest level 100 gauntlet? That one took a while, but it was really relaxing. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, that was a Suicune. Has a small chance of appearing. And what's up, Josh Day? Josh Day Live from Twitch. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe check that out, babe. Po, <laughs> I mean, plummet by Tiasu. I do play Animal Crossing. I, I'm trying to collect all the Mario furniture right now, but I always forget to play Animal Crossing these days. Yeah, this is modded at IDK Vice, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, this added the Gen Two and Three Pokemon back. What's my favorite gen? Gen 3. Yeah, new hair, Joshima. Yeah. <laughs> this is just what happens when I don't cut my hair for like a year. Level 100 gauntlet with an egg? That was actually easy. It was an easy one because I had the secret base Blissey set up. Where like it pretty much leveled itself up. It was, it was fast. It was just a, an interesting, unique gauntlet. It was a fun one to do. Sounded like a lot, but it really wasn't that much. In terms of gameplay, it was like maybe one of the shortest ones I've ever done. Other than having to like wait a day every time to like do the, the seeker base battles again. Yeah, maybe I'll try out a man bun or something someday. I, I haven't really tried out any different styles yet. I have no idea how to like put my hair up in one, so I'll have to like look up an epic tutorial on it or something. I want to do a, another curry. I want to do a curry encounter shiny hunt someday. It's a very, very daunting task. It takes a very long time to get those encounters, but it's so unique when you actually find a curry shiny. I've seen a few people get them now, and uh, the Pokemon walks up to you in camp and then sparkles, and it's the only time you ever see camp the sparkles in that game from that perspective. It's so cool. Thank you, Smeerg. Appreciate that. This Absol Pokemon shirt just arrived today, actually. So cool. And Patty with the super chat. The contest and Oris got their own storyline. It's so cool. I, I'll genuinely need to go back and check it out someday. Maybe it will make me like those games a lot more if I actually play through all the contests on them sometime. 
That's something I really neglected to do. I do know your Pokemon gets a special effect when sent out to, into battle if you master all the contests with it. Matt Bun, yeah. I don't know if pigtails <laughs> are the move for me, to be honest. Samurai Top Knot. Well, that would be sick. I want to look like a Shogun. Except I won't at all. Cedra Sauce, welcome! What's up, Jake? How's it going? It's Rumble Weekend. We're on our last few runs of the stream right now. Yeah, the Curry Shinies are full odds, I'm pretty sure. 1 in 40.96. And if they're not, they still take such a long, daunting amount of time. They're crazy. It takes so long to get the encounters. I think Professor uh, Rex has been uh, hunting those a lot lately. On multiple switches. I'm a big fan of oranges, Max. Love the vitamin C. Like, I like the miniature oranges, too. Like, the cuties. I get those a lot. Get the Professor Elm cut. I bet something I could very easily pull off right now is, like, dressing up like Bill. Like, on the, on the TCG card, Bill. All I would need is a Pokeball and a brick wall, and I could perfectly emulate the bill card from the uh, original base set. Just gotta brush my hair a certain way, and boom, we got the bill card right there. Yes, Dylan Box, I agree. Jujutsu Kaisen is so good. I need to watch this week's episode still. Haven't seen it yet, but it's a good time. I love it. Didn't get a chance to try the new taco in Nashville. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let me know how that is whenever you do try it. And uh, you can also, like, as a double whammy, they, the quesalupa's back now. And you can get the spicy potato soft tacos again. Yeah, what isn't top? <laughs> yeah, the professors. They're, they're crazy ones. They'd be hunting a bunch of rumble right now, too. But unfortunately, their power's out right now because of, like, all the snowstorms and stuff going on. My first shiny ever. I uh, found a Butterfree in the bug catching contest in gold, and I didn't catch it. And then I eventually got a Lick of Tongue in crystal. Both of them totally random. I also found a few more uh, shinies in between that I didn't catch, because I failed for dumb reasons. Sizzlin' with the super... Yeah, I could dye my hair and become Sycamore. That's a possibility, too. Sycamore's got those flowing locks. He's got a really good theme. I really like Sycamore's music. It's kind of like Professor Layton music, even though I've never played those games. I just know what their soundtrack is like. Believe it or not, Melinda, I have never done a Nuzlocke before. Not once. One of these days, I'll try it. Owie's the coolest, Auric. Yeah, uh, Gojo... No, Toto. Toto. Gojo is also sick, but but Aoi Toto, one of the coolest characters out there. Brother. He's the coolest, man. And yeah, the Quesalupa's back. They kind of redesigned it. It's a little bit different from the old Quesalupa that we once knew in like 2015, 2016. But it's solid. Still good. Yeah, Cloudfin, YouTube stream. You caught me on literally the last run of the stream, but who knows, maybe we'll do one more run. Just for posterity's sake. And there's Elekid, the Pokemon I forgot to put in the game the first patch. <laughs> Elekid didn't spawn anywhere during the first Rumble Weekend Edition patch. Yes, I gotta do Professor Oak Challenge too. I would be all over doing one of those one day. I love the idea of that. 
The Gen 2 one's also crazy. With uh, going for the early Moonstone and stuff. I don't know what game I would do it in first, though. I, I maybe do something third gen, since that's the, the game I love, I love the most. My nostalgia game. I really haven't played too many of the fan-made Pokemon games out there. I don't really have much of an opinion on them because of that. I've just got way too many things to do in the main series. For me to be messing around with like all the Pokemon Uraniums and stuff out there. I just use my Elgato HD60 hooked up to my Wii U for this. And I'm also using an upscaler known as an M Classic to uh, make it higher quality. But yeah, I didn't really announce that as the final run, so now we're going to do the final run. We're going to do it in Eternal Tower again, because that's where Absol spawns. And if we don't see an Absol this run, just like a regular Absol, I'll do another run until we find an Absol. But it's been a fun kickoff stream as always. Only walking away with one shiny, but um, a shiny's a shiny. Finding at least something is nice. And it's been a good time chatting with so many of y'all for these past few hours. It's really flown by. So yeah, let's... uh. See if we can end it here with a shiny Absol or something. These last two floors are where Absol spawns, so... So far, it's looking like we might have to do another run. Yeah, we're going to be seeing some Rayquaza here. Oh, there's a Raikou. That's cool. And we do have an Absol. This is the last run of the night. For the stream, at least. But it's been a great time seeing all of y'all. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do stream a lot more frequently on Twitch at Absaltastic, where I've been hunting for Shadow Bayleaf and Coliseum. And I'll be live there on Sunday during the day at some point. But it's been a great time tonight. Thanks so much for the company.